Hello, we're back with Signalis again. I, I, I've somehow, well, I know exactly how. Um, I, I feel so worn out, right? Because I, I beat Rodan in Bayonetta 2 earlier today, which was a great ordeal. I, I've literally, well, I've not literally, I've been more or less doing nothing but making attempts against Rodan's life since last stream. Because uh, we did, what, we did like four hours of it last stream, when I was first learning it. Then I took a break, and then I did a bit more, and I went on for a while, <laughs> and then I, uh, at like, by the, uh, it, I, I was up pretty late. Then, most of yesterday, except for like messing around with the consoles and stuff, which didn't take up that much time, was just doing that again. Like, it's so, so many more hours of Rodan with very little progress. Although, I guess my strategy was evolving over that time as well. Because when I was last streaming it, um, I was still playing as Bayo and, you know, using all her weapons and, uh, you know, stuff like that. I hadn't really figured out my accessories either. But, yeah, I switched over to Rosa. And that was definitely a good idea. Rosa's much simpler. So you, you take a lot more damage, but you deal more damage, and she just has her one weapon, which works pretty well at range and up close, so that's good. And like a good, uh, good reliable combo. Uh, so it was just learning the moves after that and not getting hit. And then, well, my original plan with Rosa was, you know, save all my magic, get to phase two, then use the, the, uh, the Umbran mech, because, you know, uh, Rosa has the uh, an Umbran mech summon instead of the usual Umbran climax, uh, which is good, because, like, with Bayo, right, she has that, that one-shot protection, right? Uh, I, I, there's, a, there's a skill uh, that does the same thing in Kingdom Hearts. I can't remember what it's called, though. Um, or a, a, a thing, yeah. Um... But yeah, Bayo has that, so like, you can take a shitload of damage in a combo, but it will still only ever put you down to 1 HP, and then any damage from then on will kill you. But Rosa doesn't have that. She can have like a big chunk of health left, and then get whacked, and just be fucking dead. So, you, you have um, a lot less chances to screw up uh, as Rosa. Uh, but, when you're using the Umbra mech, you still lose health when you take damage, but you can't go below 1 HP at all. So you're close to close to invincible whenever you have it active, but, you know, that doesn't really last so long. So my original plan was to try and use that. Just get some witch time in, land some big hits, because it does do really good damage as well, the Umber and Mech combo. Uh, especially when you hold the, the punches and the, the kicks as well. But... You know, by doing that, I was kind of brute forcing it, and I was kind of blocking the entire screen as well, so I couldn't see his moves, so I was doing a lot of random dodging, uh, which is no good, and really, I just wasn't learning his attacks at all, so as soon as I, you know, ran out of magic, I would just get my shit kicked in. So I switched up my plan, and I started using the, uh, what's it called, the, the, the time bracelet again, the bracelet of time, uh, is that what it was called? I don't remember. The one that is uh, that has a Devil May Cry reference in its description. Um, yeah, the one that lets you just trigger Witch Time on command at a small cost. Uh, made it way better, yeah. Because I switched to doing that very late last night uh, when I was just completely worn out and dead. Um, and I still got him down to like one half of his last health bar. From being in the worst possible condition. So I was like, shit, yeah, that's it. So I went to go recharge. And then I got up this morning. And got on. And it only took a few more attempts. Like, I was still getting roasted a bit. And there, there are all sorts of situations, right? Where you just get hit once. And then you can't recover. And you're just fucking dead. Because he does so much damage. Even in first phase. So he, can, he can kill you in three or four hits. If he really wants to. And just, like, just in a, a clean combo, too. But, uh, no, I got past that. And then when he gets to his second phase, obviously he can't stagger him anymore. So it's all about just 
Like, activate, activate Witch Time manually, get in a full combo, and then just as Witch Time is ending, or just before, do a dodge. Because he's probably... He's probably already in the in the middle of an attack while you're triggering it, or he's about to do one. So just do that. So there's a good chance he'll avoid anything he's throwing out, uh, and that might give you another good opportunity to just pop the witch time right again, and you can just cycle him down like that. And that's how I got him. And it was really annoying, right? Because I was I I don't want to record the entire time because that's what I would usually do, right? Is record the fight through OBS, and then I'd have it. Um, but I was trying to use NVIDIA's instant replay thing, which is what I did uh, with um, with the, the Bayo 1 Rodan fight. That's how I got that recorded, because I don't want to make some gigantic file of failed attempts and then just have to delete it later. Um, and that w was working. I had, like, a full-screen window of my game capture, and that was... Um, uh, I had I had the the instant replay thing going as well, but then I, I I had it on my main monitor, right? I had the the big full screen window. I maybe should have done this differently, but my I, I don't know if it's my computer or my monitor or what are just fucky when it comes to switching sources, right? Because you know I've got to switch to and from the uh, the switch because there's a, a delay on the capture, so I need to see it direct. Um, so that I can actually play at all. But when I switched back from the Switch capture, um, it did like the whole, oh, reshuffle all the windows around, change places with all my windows. And that broke the, um, the preview, like the full screen preview thing I had going, which meant for some reason that none of it got captured, even when I pressed the hotkey. So I didn't get any of it. So I just recorded that little thing I put on Twitter with uh, with OBS and felt very upset about it. But still, I, I still won. I did it. I might have to do it again. Maybe I'll do it again and record it. Now that I'm fairly confident I could do it again. Because I, I, I kind of... I had I could feel it, right? Whenever I was fighting him uh, with any of my attempts. It's like, okay, I've got this much energy left in me. And past a certain point, I'm going to run out of steam. And on the run where I won, I saw he barely had any health left. And I was I was feeling confident. I had plenty of energy left. So I reckon I could do it again. Especially if I don't do it straight away. But anyway. 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 With that out of the way. We're back with Signalis again. Which I've been looking forward to. Because this game's really great. Just absolute top tier survival horror. Okay, the audio is working but it's quiet on my end. Hold on. Let me, yeah, turn that up. There we go. Add that down low. There we are. Nice. Right, yes, I've been looking forward to playing more of this. How's our inventory looking? I don't really remember what we were doing. We got to the new area that had the ladder, ladders and stuff, the multiple floors. We need to figure out what we're doing here. Yeah, we got Thermite Flare. So if we need to permanently kill anything else, we can do that. Well, they introduced the, uh, the shield having enemies last time. And I think I used a flare on one of them. That seems like a pretty uh, worthy cause. I wouldn't want to blow these on a regular enemy. Unless they're in a really high traffic area, then maybe. But we don't have that many. Yeah, prods and everything else. So, yeah, I got my prods equipped. That's good. And we got the two empty slots. So that's about as good as our inventory is going to be. We've only got five bullets left. Do we? Uh, I don't think we have any shotgun shells either, do we? I uh, don't remember the inventory situation. We've got the photo module, which we still don't know what to do with. Uh, we had, oh, right, yeah, we got revolver ammo, but we haven't got the revolver yet. Yeah, And the shotgun has got absolutely shit all in it, so we don't have much going on in the way of health. Got to remember all the controls as well. Right. Okay, so yeah, the engine room. Right, we did that fuse box puzzle. That was the last thing we did. And that turned on the, the dumbwaiter elevator thing. I remember. Right, right, right. So that might let us do some stuff now. I, I, we didn't really establish what we wanted the elevator working for. Maybe just to move puzzle items around? I'm not sure. Well, those doors we haven't checked. I guess. Uh... There was like there was a dark room too, right? 
There was there was a whole darkness thing going on. Was that somewhere? That's oh yeah, we've gone gone upstairs. Like these are the floors we're working with now. So the elevator shaft where we came in. Right, right, right. It was this whole area. Yeah. Yeah, and this was Oh yeah, the repair bay. That was the dark room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if we can get a flashlight or something. I think there was we saw a note about a flashlight module. Or something like that. So if we can get that, we'll be able to go into the repair bay. I'm just trying to figure out where we should go and what we should do. What with us having so little ammo. Alright, so there was that post box that needed a key. Uh that's the lift that we turned on with the fuse box there. And that's accessible on these two floors. So we'll have to do something with those. But I remember there being enemies, at least in one of these corridors. There's the shutter gate. I don't know what we needed for that. The island painting, I think, had a keyhole in it? Something like that? Okay. And... Okay, so I've checked, like, all the doorways. So it must be... We must need to interact with, with puzzle elements. That we have not you know, yet interacted with. Because now now we've got the, the lift working, we can maybe do something with that. I don't think we can... I guess we... Well, yeah, we can't interact with the puzzle anymore, because I solved it. It was too easy, that puzzle. Give me more puzzle. I'm stronger than your puzzles, game. Right, so let's head downstairs and see if we can do anything with the lift. What would be the best way of getting there? So we're at the... Stairs, yeah, it's it's all the way down there. So we'll either way we'll have to go through this kind of area. Well, I guess we could because we have a way down there in the dorm. We could come in from the top here and then check that out. I think this might be the floor that has the enemies though. Oh, and there's the uh, there's locked doors as well, but I don't think we have any means of opening those up yet. Well, I guess we'll we'll go from the top down here. And hopefully we won't waste any ammo. I really hope so. so. Yeah, this takes a key. Postbox key. 512. Okay. This was locked. That wants the owl key, which I don't think we've seen. Okay. Just gotta it you know, it's been it's been like a week since I played this. I gotta refresh my memory. And I've been doing so much off stream, you know, messing with all the consoles. Uh, which is going very well, by the way. Uh, ooh. Yeah, more 12mm ammo. We don't need that right now. So I'm gonna... I'm just gonna leave the inventory slots open. I don't know if we've read this. Angry note. Oh, yeah! They were being noisy. Since the piano room was locked out. Okay. We borrow a key and get into the dorm. Maybe. Maybe. Right, yeah. This was the scary room with all the fuckers in it. But we were able to avoid all these last time. So we can do it this time, too. Oh, God. Except you're down there. You're not in a great position. Unless... Oh, unless you go up. Yeah. Going up's perfect. Thank you. Thank you for being so kind, you terrifying monster mutant robot. Good God. What was this again? Lighting malfunctions. Right, yes. Yeah, all doors require visible light to open. Yes. Yeah, remember to equip a flashlight module. Ask Adler ahead of time if you need one. He's usually in his quarters on the 8th floor these days. 8th floor. 8th floor, 8th floor. So that's... I, I, I should, yeah, cause, you know, 1 down into 7. So it would be on the floor below us, I guess. So we're probably not going to get that yet. Um, okay, maybe should have had a look at the, the ladders as well. We might have been able to go further down. Actually... Let's go back there and see if we can go further down. Oh, this isn't great. We can sneak around here. Oh, we can't sneak around here. We can't. No, no, there's a shield one. No, 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 no. It's just a bad, a bad starting position. If you guys would just reset and be in kind of a, a better, a better layout for me to traverse. Oh, no. All right. Okay. Okay, I guess we're going this way then. That's fine. Whatever. You know, I wasn't I didn't want to go back that way so strongly anyway. Right, so this elevator is here. Here's the guys we killed. They might get back up at any moment. Really hope they don't. 
Okay, so we can go... Oh, we can go down! Ah, we couldn't go down before. Oh, well... Oh, we can go up, actually. Going... Yeah, up would presumably lead to somewhere we haven't been yet, so let's go up. Right? Have we... Have we not been here? Where are we? Wait, did that... Are we just in the same place? We didn't... Did we go anywhere? Where are we? What? Oh! Oh, I think I understand. Like, this is the highest level that this elevator goes to, right? So, it must go up and then loop around. So, you would end up here. That makes sense. Okay, so let's go down. Maybe we can go further down. So, here we've been. That door we haven't checked, actually. And that's... Shotgun ammo! Yeah, I'll take that. Thanks. Yeah, this this is where we drop down into. So maybe we can go further down again? Ah, we made it to the 8th floor! Alright, sick! So is this as far down as we can go? Yeah, that loops us back around. Okay, fantastic, fantastic. So I do want to check out that door above us here, but there was a, a monster in front of it. Uh-oh. Shutter gate handle. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's for opening up the shutter upstairs. Okay, great. And we can go up there, but there's a note on the table there. I want to maybe check that out first. Can we read? Yeah, we can read that without without uh, a fight. Oh, Miner, that's the, the boss we fought last time. An Adler, the fucker that pushed us down the elevator. Replica known issues, part three. Classified information, commander eyes only. Previous experience with these replica models has given us insight into, in to, into irregularities in their behavior that stem from the original neural patterns used for these units. Due to the sensitive nature of this information, this document should be destroyed after reading. Uh-oh, someone forgot to destroy the document. MNHR. This neural pattern is extremely stable. Little has to be done to keep miners happy. They get along well with most other models thanks to their sometimes submissive, sometimes motherly personality. Unlike other models, diary keeping is not mandatory for persona stabilization. Small stuffed animals may be given as fetish objects, though these res uh, those resembling cats should be avoided as they might cause resurfacing gestalt memories. Oh god. All these robots are made from, like, people brains, aren't they? Oh no. Adler. Adler units work best when left alone. They do not mix well with their own type. They'll usually become very emotionally dependent on their commander. Adlers are very susceptible to bioresonance suggestion, making them fairly easy to control. However, they become bored very easily and may need new fetish objects at regular intervals for stabilization. Okay. So, they're robots, right? Then then they're not quite as advanced as like Blade Runner like esque robots. It's not like Blade Runner Westworld series type robots where they're just completely perfect artificial humans and literally just people. No. There's like a set, there's a bunch of them. A bunch of different types. But you can, they're, they're basically just copy pastes of each other. Personality and men, uh, wise and mentally, I guess. But there's still biological components, which is why there's all the horrible mutations now. So who knows if they can really become individuals. They're kind of in a in a grey area. I appreciate that. I feel like with a lot of robot media, they're usually just like completely robotic, which is fine, and then you're allowed to abuse them. Or they're completely human, right? And then you have that that's that's how you get like the um the Detroit become humans where it's just everyone has to be made all the humans have to be made cartoonishly evil so that they'll abuse what are effectively just living people. But the story says they're robots, so everyone's racist against them. I hate that. It's dumb. Oh, there's something! Do you see that something appeared? Something appeared. I think we're paused, but something came out of the floor just now. Replica Overview. FKLR. Führungskommando Le Leitenreit Replica. Falk. Operational Command Unit Replica Falcon. Is this the one we met who was like, who was okay? But she was like, I'm not going out there. I, I think that's the same, maybe the same type. But yeah, Falk. Operational Command Control Unit Replica Falcon. Type, Generation 6, High-Tech Bioresonance Command Unit. 
frame biomechanical with polyethylene shell and bullet resistant armor plating, 250 centimeters. Commander eyes only. The protective Führungs Commandos Commander, the head of each Aeon facility's protector force, is a powerful prototype bioresonant Falk unit, an authority that may never be questioned. A Falk unit serves not just as commander to the protectors, but as a nearly godlike being. A perception that is underlined by her tall build and resemblance to our nation's leaders. The great revolutionary and her daughter. Oh. Learning more about the the country that we are, apparently belong to. It is also aided by a powerful prototype bioresonance module, which not only allows her to bend the will of weaker minds and fathom their intentions and emotions, but also grants her the ability to manipulate objects from a distance. Ah, oh, okay. That sounds kind of vaguely similar to what the, the minor boss was doing, where it was like summon, oh, you know, resurrecting the the jobbers that, it, that were bothering me. Hmm. Bio re bio resonance. Get me out of here. No, 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 no. Ooh, hello. This seems bad. Ooh, I think this is the the really. Oh, I thought I I thought I was carrying repairs for very pluses. Unless I, I guess I switched back to regular ones. Shit. Maybe I should have kept the pluses then. Ooh, a bunch of ammo. Sick. What's this? Falk's diary. Oh, this must be Falk then. I don't know how much longer I can go on. Do not want to live anymore as what I've become. The red eye beyond the gate showed me. No, touched me, poisoned me. Oh? Feels like my mind has been contaminated, defiled by another person's memory. I'm no longer fully myself anymore, but I've not fully become someone else either. I'm stuck here, between her and me, with half-formed dreams and recollections, penetrating my brain and tainting my every action. Who is she? Who is that white-haired girl? Why do I long to see her again? Why would she curse me like this? Hmm... So maybe something to do with the whole bioresonance thing? A brain got infected? Okay, can't carry the repair patch either. Oh, prod! Stun with the prod. Oh. Oh! Is that an owl? We needed an owl key for a door, right? Heavy box fashioned to look like an owl. There are small holes at the top looking like a speaker or a microphone. Okay. So do we need so Oh, we need something from the radio. Oh, 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 I know what we need. I know what we need. We need the, um... Which, which one? Which one? We want the frequencies. There was an owl frequency, right? Was there? Oh, no, there's not. Moon, sun, scales, rook, tree, sword. No owl. Oh, damn. Uh, hmm. I hope this isn't something I've forgotten. But okay, we do... Uh, presumably it's a frequency, because we've had that kind of puzzle before with the... the when we first got the radio, with the moon, we had to, I, I think, use the moon frequency. Um, I think tree and sword we've used to open up lockers. So it could be sun scales or rook, but I doubt it. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe we just don't have this yet. I assume the guys in here will have gone again. That's how those fellas usually work. But okay, I I bet that will get us the owl key. And then that will get us into that one room. Uh, upstairs, I think? Yeah. And yeah, we sh we're on the 8th floor, so we, so we should be able to get a flashlight module as well. Hopefully. I think it was in Adler's room. Ooh, what's this? Is that a... a ooh! A, uh, a system map. So, I, I'm i trying to... Yeah, we've heard some of these names before. We've heard Katej before. We've heard Rotfront. We've, see we've seen Rotfront. I think in the flashbacks we saw Rotfront a lot, maybe. Hmm. And this has the star. Hey, Matt. I don't remember where we are. An orrery showing a rotating view of the current relative positions of the inhabited worlds of the solar system. Okay, so is this, wait, are we still in our, are we in, are we in like our home solar system? Is this like an entire alternate reality with different planets and stuff? Although, hmm, could this be our solar system? Wait a minute, could that be Mercury, Venus? Well, no, then that would be Earth, right? Yeah, no, that doesn't add up. 
yeah, no, this is not a solar system. Or, you know, the real solar system. I don't know, I don't know enough about the setting of this game. Hmm. I wonder if that's going to be part of a puzzle, but it will be. Need the library key, which we don't have. Okay. Let's back up. <laughs> Let's take it easy. I don't want to I don't want to do any combat if I don't have to. Cuz like, well, I guess we we have a bit more ammo now. We have 8 bullets instead of 5. Uh it's not great though. I mean, we've gotten lucky and knocked them down with one shot before, but we can't guarantee that. This room's dark. So it's probably going to have something horrible in it. So we'll be, we'll be back with a flashlight. Okay, let's see what we can do around here. Can we... Oh, yeah, we can get around you. Oh, nice. Oh, this is locked, though. Hummingbird key. That's new. Okay, I don't... Don't, don't know if we can sneak... Can't sneak around you. All right. Ow! You hit me at that range? That's some bullshit, my man. You, did, you just simply did not connect with that hit. Uh oh Okay, that one hit. You know, that's fine. I, I can agree with that. Whatever. Ooh. <gasps> Flashlight module. But I'm out of space. Uh, unless I use something up. Hmm. Uh, I mean, we've got the one thermite. We don't want to use that up. We can't drop stuff. I should have been smarter with my inventory here. Um. I don't want to. I don't want to destroy ammo. I don't want to destroy anything. Uh. Hmm, this is quite a bad setup. Quite a bad setup. Let's read this. Oh, more about Adler. Replica overview. Adler. Administration, data processing, logistics replica, Eagle. Generation 5, high command specialist. An integral part of every protector, Führung's commando, is the administrator unit. A single Adler unit can manage and oversee all administra administrative tasks for an entire facility, freeing other operational command units to focus on the direct control of protector units. The Adler is designed to work as a direct counterpart to the Falk unit, serving as our adjutant by taking care of necessary paperwork and calculations. He's a fucking nerd. And what's... that's locked. Eagle key. Okay. So yeah, we can't... like, presumably if we could pick up the flashlight module, we would just equip it immediately, right? You would think so. Let's use that. We're gonna have to make a run for it. I, maybe, maybe we'll be able to find another safe space, a safe spot down here. Although I guess maybe, maybe we'll be able to get to the ladder if you go out to the left, and then we'll be able to go straight to the save, if so. Can we go out this way? Yes, it was a one way. Sick, let me out. Okay, okay. That's our shortcut back. See, I never actually came down here to check that this door was locked. But now we know. Rotfront again. So that's one of the planets. Rotfront. Hope for the future, Rotfront. Yeah. Hold on. Yes. Okay. So these structures with the dishes in the background, that kind of looks like the flashback we saw way earlier. Or, or I don't know if that was a flashback. Well, it, was the, it was in a... Was that in one of the tapes? We, I think we maybe saw that in a tape. Or maybe that was somewhere else. But there was like a flashback. And we were we were in a school. And someone was being bullied. And also when we were on the train as well. That looked like this. And hello, Val. Thank you for the pets. I'm terrified, so I need the soothing right now. It was you? You were being bullied? It didn't look like you. It wasn't like a, a, hor a horrendous gremlin either. Although I could I could buy that you were being bullied at least. That's right, we, we have the stairs up as well, but we don't... Uh, no, we do want to go up. We do want to go up. Well, it was, it was a, a, a future space anime girl. It wasn't you. Not a, a fucking horrendous potato creature. That's all I'm saying. It just, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't you. It just wasn't. Okay, so we can... Well, we can use the shutter handle, for one. That would be a good way of getting out of the way. Um, let's stash that away, get the shotgun out. We might be able to just load those shells into it. Equip that. There we go, that's loaded in. Uh, we'll put that back though, because we've got more ammo for the pistol. And what else? 
What else do we want to do? We could... Hmm, I need to think about the map again. Like, how is our... What's our route to get to the places we want to go to? So we want to we wanna go back into controller accommodations again. We'll need to go back into here, but I don't think we have what we need to open up Fog's box. So, we don't need to clear out our inventory for those healing items just yet, I suppose. Um... Yeah, just, I guess we just want to get the flashlight module and maybe look at these other doors, if possible. Okay. So, inventory-wise... We could put the shutter handle away, because... Yeah, we'll put the shutter, hand, shutter handle away. Shutter handle. Because we're not dealing with that right now. We're not, um... Yeah, we're not opening up the shutter just yet. We'll come back and do that. For now, flashlight module. Because, like I say... Um, as I, if, if it is as I suspect, we should pick up the flashlight module and just have it become equipped to us, so that inventory slot might get freed up straight away, probably. So let's go back down. All the way down to eight. We gotta get past, oh, I gotta equip my pistol again. Hold on. That was close. Okay, so we haven't been in here. Oh, it's another mine elevator. Can't go in here yet. Need an administrator's key. But that could, that would get us back on track and like be able, we'd be able to access maybe these old rooms again, but that's probably the way we need to go forward. Because we've used these, uh, these mine elevators as, you know, major progression before. Oh God. All right, let's calm down. Ladies, 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 please. I'm trying- what was the button to use the prod again? Um, I think it was maybe just- was it just click when we- when we're not aiming or something like that? Oh no, it's use tool, so it's C. Okay, so if I want to prod them, I can do that. Okay, prod with the prod. Get lost. Okay, that'll do for now. Press C to prod. <laughs> yeah! The, the prod button. Right, flashlight module. Yes, thank you. Okay. Oh, and that was what was emitting the light, too. Oh, no! You have to equip it as a tool! Oh, no! That's horrendous! Right, so it's gonna keep taking up inventory space. Oh, God. Yeah, we're gonna have to hold on to this for at least a few rooms. I guess we'll go check out the dark rooms now. And then I guess once we don't need it anymore, we can go put the flashlight away. Might be a good idea. No, get lost, you. Stop being so aggro. Uh, I, was this the way that had the, 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 the dark downstairs? We should check that door. Hold on. Hey, oh, Calm down. Calm down, lady. Calm the hell down, will ya? I'm just merely coming through. Okay. I'm getting good at avoiding, though. It's important. We're here to conserve ammo. Oh, the flashlight module's probably alerting them, too. It, I, I assume it has some detrimental effect on stealth. Yeah, it totally do. Okay, we want it. Oh, God, there's one with a shield! Oh, no! Oh, there's a million of them! What the fuck? Uh, I don't... I don't think I can deal with this. Unless I... I, I, I gotta quit the prod, though. Oh, this is shit. I might die. I've gotta quit the prod again. But I can't see! Oh, God. This is bad. Oh, God. Too dark to see. I know it's too dark to see. I'm dealing with it presently. I don't want to read that right now. I can't even pick up... that. This is... This is a bad, bad place to be. I'm gonna die... Yeah, I'm gonna accept my death. This is fine. I can't deal with this. And low bones. Here to shoot stuff and conserve ammo. And I'm all out of ammo. Somebody please help me. Basically, yeah. I mean, I don't have enough ammo to do much of any use. Right? I need to... I, I really need to conserve. Okay, so that's gonna send us back to our save. So we need to go get the flashlight again. But that's okay. That's okay. Though I think, yeah, the other room, the other room that had 
uh, that we needed the flashlight for. I think also had an enemy in it. We might be able to avoid combat there, but I'm not sure. I'm going to put the thermite away to give us a slot back because we're really struggling with inventory right now. Okay. The rest of our equipment is fine. I'm going to save again just in case I die uh, so I don't have to put that away again. There we go. Right. So we'll go get the flashlight again. Then we'll check out the other room that needed a flashlight. And maybe that'll get us another puzzle solution thing. Because that, that other room that needed the flashlight just seemed like lore and loot. But it's loot at a cost. Because it, it's going to cost ammo or something or prods or whatever to deal with all those guys. There's a cost there. It's a cost I'm not willing to pay right now. But I don't have any ammo. No ammo. Alright, get lost! Get lost. Fuck. I was hoping to maybe avoid damage again that time, but I guess not. Can't really do it unless we can give them a wide berth. Um, why am I here? This isn't where the flashlight was, was it? No, I've gone down here for nothing. Um... I'm gonna I'm gonna quit and load because I didn't I didn't need to go that way at all. I just took damage for nothing. Like a goddamn idiot. We're save scumming, baby. We're absolutely save scumming. It's fine. I'm using the save and load system to to gain information. It's tech. You would do the same in my situation. Well, either that or you would get killed, or you would end up... You would survive, but end up with significantly less resources, which is a, an eventuality I'm not willing to allow. I need my resources. Okay, this time, let's take it easy. Maybe we can bypass some of these. We don't... Just don't sprint straight away. Okay, it's that room there that we need to get into. Which is not great. Not great. Okay, they're being slow, but they're still hitting me. Rude. Maybe should have prodded. It's best to prod when they're close to each other. Because then they'll, uh, th there's a chance they'll stun each other. Okay, but can we, because we can equip or use, can we use the flashlight? No, using the flashlight equips it to the slot as well. All right, damn. I'll just skim through this again. Yep, just about Adler, just so that's in memory. That takes the eagle key. Okay. So, we can... Well, we probably want to check out the other doors. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Right, yeah, that's locked. Uh, we're going to need to stun. And also heal. And hello, assassin. Currently messing around with the auto heart key. Can't get the game character to dash 1,000 times in a row. Oh, yeah, I've messed with stuff like that before. I don't think I've used auto heart key specifically... I think I, I think I use like the software that comes like goes with my mouse to like set some kind of macro or something like that. But yeah, it's it's fun when you get stuff like that to work and absolutely jank the shit out of some game. Oh, damn! Just wanted to maybe sneak past. We needed to get that hit in, otherwise the prod would be for nothing. Down you go. Okay. I don't like using ammo right now. We got five shots. But okay, we can do a fair bit with five shots, as we've kind of just established. Okay, so... We'll head back up, go do the whole other flashlight thing. Then maybe do the... The shutter thing, too? Can't see anything extra here with the flashlight. Looks nice, though. So where was the shutter door? That was... Yeah, rolling shutter gate is here. Um, the other dark room is upstairs. So let's head upstairs. Okay, yeah, we don't have the, the, the shutter thing right now. Keep having to check the map. Uh, okay, right. So right from here... We can go maybe get some progress. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Huma 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 huma. Oh, speaking of huma huma. Oh, fuck. That was another thing I wanted to mention today. Ina's coming back in January. Oh, I'm so excited, bro. Oh, my Oshi. 
she's finally back, she's coming back from a break. Ah, it's been so long. I've been, I've been without cute priestess for like two months now. Yeah, Ina, she's she's coming back. I think it's on January eighth. Um, she tweeted about it earlier today. I'm very excited. Right, yes. So yeah, light aggravates them. That was a necessary casualty. Oh, no, another prod. Oh wait, no, that's an auto injector. Guess I'll take it. I should maybe not take things so easily though, because they kind of block up inventory slots. Oh, shotgun rounds. Yeah, magnum rounds, which can't take. And the inventory's full. Yeah, can't carry the adhesive tape. Can't carry the weapon kit. <gasps> oh, magnum. We we are truly doing some Resident Evil Two shit. Resident Evil Two? No, just Resident Evil in general shit now. Not gonna lie, works had you out of the loop on VTuber news. Wasn't aware they were on break. Are they okay? Yeah, yeah. She was. Um, she. I. I think she was like just not keeping up with her health very much, so she was taking a break for that. Um, as of like a, a couple of months ago, like I say. Um, but she's finally coming back. I can't wait. It's gonna be great. Like she's been around here and there. Like whenever people have events, like birthdays and whatever, she'll show up. And there was like a some gacha game collaboration or something that she did voice work for, but no streams. Not keeping up the self-care reps. Exactly, exactly. You know, that's, that's what you expect from an artist, I suppose. Right, see, because I picked up the auto-injector, I can't use any of this shit. And the shotgun rounds. Why'd I take these? Now i got to go back. I guess we can ferry... As long as this one doesn't get back up, we can safely ferry all this stuff back. Oh, God, to the nearest save. But there's also those guys spawning in here now. That's not good. Oh, the flashlight. Whoops. Sorry, didn't mean to disturb you guys. I'm I'll be going now. But I guess if we can if we keep doing that, uh keep ferrying things back to the safe room, we could we could get all that magnum ammo too. And I'm I'm assuming the weapons case has the magnum in it. Finally get the magnum. But yeah, I'm very glad about that. It's just been a good day. Well, kind of a good day. Because um I, I mentioned on Twitter as well, uh, I've been having issues with the, the PS3. The PS3 works. It works great. I'm very happy to have the PS3 working. But PS3s in general do not in any way play nice with um, with Elgato and, with, well, with um, streaming, streaming stuff in general. Uh, capture cards is what I was trying to say. Um... We got a small healing item as well. Because we... Well, we've got the one repair spray right now. And a bunch of... Hmm, we could convert all these into repair spray pluses. And then that would... That that means we could go pick up that other repair spray plus later on. Let's... Put that shotgun round away. And then combine these. Nice. And nice. So yeah, we got a couple of those now. That's good. Um, what was I saying? I was saying... Oh, yeah, the, the PS3, right? Uh, it's because of RHCP, I think. Which is uh, not optional on the PS3. Apparently it is on like, the PS4 and stuff, but I've never had to capture that. But yeah, there's no way to turn it off. Uh, it's it's something to do with the, the HDMI out and stuff. So I could, I could capture it... Um, because I've got the, the cable that works for the PS1 and the PS2, works for the PS3 as well. But it's, it's you know, it's component. It doesn't look nearly as good. I'd much rather do it with HDMI. So I've had to buy a, um, a HDMI splitter just for this that will strip the RHCP stuff and let me capture it. And then, all, all, well, all the consoles I've tried will have worked. I might also try and get my 360 working, because I have seen that lying around. But okay, right, so I guess we'll hold on to the shotgun for now. Um, but I suppose we'll leave things as is. Inventory, do we want to? I guess I could put the prods away. Assuming we're not going to need it. I'm hoping we're not going to need it. And we'll take the flashlight, and we'll go back 
and just get everything we can from that whole route we just took. I guess focusing on the stuff in the furthest room so we don't have to go through there as many times and potentially wake up that robo zombo we killed. Okay, let's go. I've got a plan. My plan doesn't make me progress, it just gets me loot. But loot's important! You know, we're so low on ammo, sometimes you've got to take time and effort to just get loot. That's right, was this the, the right floor? I can never remember. Yes, it was. Okay. But yeah, it is It is neat, though, that the flashlight aggro's enemies. I guess that confirms they, they do indeed, uh, they can indeed see. Oh, I forgot about my health. Well, if I die, I die. Nope, that's the wrong door. We can go, we can, uh, next time we get back to base, we can top off our healing. So I'll leave that there, just because I don't know how many things we're going to take from the shooting range. I think it might have been three items, so I think we could maybe bring everything. And the, uh, the ammo should hopefully stack as well. Yeah, those fuckers come out of the floor. I don't like them. Right, take the weapons case. And take the adhesive tape. I'm sure we'll find some use for it. And take the magnum ammo. Okay, so that should stack with the other magnum ammo in here. Gotta remember to turn the flashlight off before we go out. That is totally a trap, too. Like... When you first come through here, it's just about sneaking around, but now it's more about remembering to turn your flashlight off. Also, oh god, how many games have I played that have this goddamn fucking Twin Peaks carpet? Many, very many, a great deal. Okay, inventory's full, let's go back and drop some of this stuff off. And I guess have a look, I, I, I assume we don't have the key for the weapons case, so that'll probably go away. But I would, I would love to get a key for that. I would love a magnum. Give me a magnum, please. I thought we were maybe going to get the one from the x-ray machine upstairs, but perhaps not. Right, what's your deal? Gun case. Locked with a small padlock. Uh, EUK 500S. Einhorn Hunter. It's locked with a small padlock. Okay. Yeah, the tape I don't think we can do anything with. So, right, let's put all this stuff away. Because we don't need it. Absolutely don't need the magnum ammo. And away goes the gun case. Okay, do we want to do another supply run? Because we could. We could go down to floor 8 and get all the stuff out of Falk's uh, rooms. There was some healing, some ammo in there, I think. So, what would be the best way to do that? The best way to get there... Well, I guess we could go by the, the shutter gate, too, if we're going that way. That would maybe be a good route. And I need to heal, is what I need to do. So let me grab a repair patch and use it. There we go. Uh, oh, yeah, and the patch is enough to get me up to full from yellow. All right, cool. Good stuff, good stuff. All right. Don't think we want to bring anything else, do we? I think we had, like, a... Yeah, we had one shotgun shell. Maybe bring it? Oh, maybe don't? Oh, we need the shutter handle. Yeah, that's what I nearly forgot. Alright, let's save. We are save scumming. Cock dick balling. Save scumming. Let's go. So what floor are we going down to now? Down to floor seven. Got it. Let's go, let's go. Yeah, that's, I, I I guess, I don't have that much experience with uh, limited inventory survival horror. I hope to have more. I hope to get more. Um, but it, it seems fairly obvious that if you have such a tightly limited inventory, that you should use up key items where possible. Especially in a game like this, where when you use up a key item and it has no further purpose, it just gets discarded. So it takes up less space. Will you let me down? The doors are finicky sometimes. Your own research wasn't good enough, but the steam forums to the rescue. Oh yeah, you can always find some piece of useful information. You'll figure it out. Right. This is where we're going. There are some zombos. Right, that's this is the, the one we thermited last time. The one with the shield. 
And then I think down here has some Zambo. Or maybe this one was clear. No, there's Zambo. Fuck! Oh, damn it. Alright, you're getting one. I didn't want to have to use this on you. Unless... What do you mean you can't use this here? Use it. What do you mean? Why? Why can't you use it here? Have I gotten this wrong? Ah! Okay, I just had to use it like that. I see. Oh, it's a safe room! Let's go! Alright. Okay, now we can get some work done. Oh, and the owl key! We need that for something. Fuck yeah. Oh, there's a piano in here. Are we going to play Moonlight Sonata or what? Okay, okay. But yeah, we can get some work done from here. We can investigate and uh, use this as a... I, I guess the other save room is our main base. This this is more like a, a forward operating base. Eula. Is this, I think this is the type that we are. Eula. Owl. Type generation 4, low cost general purpose. Oh no. Eula units are the backbone of the Yushin, uh, Yushin Nation's workforce. These elegant multi-purpose worker units are suited for all kinds of domestic tasks, like cleaning, cooking, and simple medical and office work. Yules are highly social and get along well with each other, as well as most other replica models. While unfit for combat, yeah, you don't say, their lightweight frame makes them a prime choice for distant facilities where supplies are limited. Okay. Now I know more about me. We might, we might want to kill and like thermite the one outside if we're going to be using this as a base. But also we might just be able to scoot around it because it's kind of a slow one. I don't know if I want to take the risk. We still haven't checked that door. Should do that. And from here we can get to the, the lifts pretty easy too. So we kind of have a, a, a nice couple of ways of getting around now. Okay, okay, okay. So what door wanted the owl key? That's what I'm trying to remember. Oh, the staff dorm on the sixth floor. Thanks, inventory. How handy. Uh, nope. There we go. Gotta get used to my controls. So we need to go up. Um, and I think it'll be that one. Yeah, that one wants the owl key. So we should head up the way we came in to get there. Okay. Anything else we want to dump or anything we want to bring with us? Um, I guess we don't need the flashlight right now. Well, maybe maybe we will need it, though. We don't know. The owl room might require it. Wait, is it playing Moonlight Sonata in there? Wait a second. Is that Moonlight Sonata? My, my musical lit literacy isn't good enough. I don't remember. I'm just going to listen to it for a sec. Hmm. I'm pretty sure that is. That's a that's a ghost piano. Nobody's playing that piano. There was that note saying the piano was playing all the time. Weird. Okay, that's neat though. Oh god. Fuck off, will you? Don't camp outside the door, you creature. Be yeah, okay. They don't they don't go fast all the time though. When you're kind of squaring them down. Especially when you're aiming at them, they seem to slow down a bit. So that's a good opportunity to reposition and just get around them instead of engaging. Okay, so it should be the door here. God, this game's good. <laughs> nice. And it's nice having the flashlight too. You can just get a bit more, a uh, bit more vision. Prod with the prod. Ooh, mirror. Oh, it's me in the mirror. Nice. Inspect. Ooh, what is, is that a is that a VHS or one of the the fancy space tapes? Oh, broken music cassette. Okay. Yulin leader. So owl something. Broken music cassette. Portable audio uh, audio tape player with a knife embedded in its speaker. Huh. Why would someone want to shiv the speaker? Hmm. Oh, nice. Okay. What do we want with this? A looping multi-track magnetic audio tape cassette. 
tape inside the cassette is torn. Oh, can we maybe tape it back together with the adhesive we found? Need to repair the magnetic tape inside the cassette before it can be played again. Hmm, probably, probably, probably. Let's go back upstairs. Because there's no enemies between me and that save room. But yeah, this is what I'm like in Survival Aura. Which is why it always bothers me slightly. Um, like in, uh, in the RE2 remake, where it ranks you based on how many times you go and save. Because I'm always going back to save rooms and just reorganizing my inventory and everything. Can't help it. I'm an addict. Yeah, put that away. Okay, adhesive tape. Can we just duct tape a magnetic tape together? Does it work like that? It do! Sick. Owl songs. That seems to be part of a set of songs popular with Yule units. Hmm. Alright, let's go take that back then. Although I guess the cassette player that was down there probably won't work, given that it had a, a knife in it, but we can try, I suppose. I don't know if we've seen any other tape players around, have we? Well, like, the music player is, player is grayed out, which, in this game's parlance, implies to me that that is no longer a puzzle element that's of use to us. Uh, hmm, maybe... Maybe the... Oh! Right. Okay. We, we, we're we going to need something to play it, but we're going to need to play it to the owl box that Falk had. If we can take it, get it to Falk. Or maybe we just have to get it to Falk and play it in there somehow. Maybe there's a player in there that I didn't notice. Yeah, Falk's box. That's what we need it for. Okay. So do we want to go down there right now? Um, I guess so. So what, what route are we going to take? I guess we can go... Maybe go, because like, if we go down this way, I think there might be more enemies in here. It might be better to go directly from here. And we also haven't checked this door, which is, I think, because of enemies. Um, hmm. And there are enemies here, too. Hmm. How do we, <laughs> what's the best way to approach? Uh, I think it might be from the piano room instead. Okay, okay. Let's, yeah, let's go to floor seven then. Go past the, let me in. It's, it's, that's the one complaint I have about this game, is that it's sometimes finicky to get into doors. But otherwise, this game is stellar. Absolutely stellar. No, 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 no. Like, my character keeps trying to float back towards the center. Oh, I could have run past them. Just... Oh, no, no, no. I could have just walked past them, rather. There's a stim there. Can we pick that up without getting killed? We don't have much inventory space. No. I need to stop being a kleptomaniac. As much as I am inclined towards kleptomania, I need... I need to hold off. There we go. So I think this is Falk's room right here. Yeah, Falk's whole area. And I guess maybe there'll be some kind of player in here. Oh, fuck is in the floors! Um. Well, there's not. There's not any kind of player in here. And we can't interact with the box. Looks like a speaker or a microphone. So it probably is just going to be a microphone. Right? And it's not a speaker. We can't use the tape. Can we use the tape? No, we can't use the tape. We need something to play the tape on. Um, we can't... Like, the, our, our radio module is just a, you know, receiver. It doesn't... We don't have a tape deck built in. Sick as that would be. Oh, we can take this repair spray plus, though. That's free. Oh, it's two of them! Holy shit! Motherload. God damn. Right, that was Falk's Diary again. Um, we can... Yeah, we'll take the repair patch while we're here. Okay, so that's cleared all this out. Okay, so then that raises the question, where do we go now? Since that was uh, a temporary dead end, what can we do? Uh, I don't think we've got... We, we haven't got the key for the library hallway. 
or the east hallway. I don't remember what we need for those. I should. Uh, we need the eagle key up there. I remember that. We haven't checked this door. Should do that, even though it will probably be locked. Um, what else can we look at? What else? What else can we do? Where else is there to go? We don't have any. I, I don't think we have the thing for the island painting either. Whatever that needs. We wouldn't have to go like back further up, would we? Yeah, this is as high as we can go because we got kicked down the stairs or down the elevator. Uh, hmm, 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 hmm. So yeah, nothing to do here. We haven't got the key for the post box. The music player is apparently done. I guess we could go check just to see. Um, hmm. The lift, island painting, Falk. Star map. I don't know. I don't know if, if any of this is of use to us. Maybe we just need to open a door. It could be that. Hmm. All right. Let's go check the doors out here. I suppose. I apologize for being lost. Oh god. I did pretty well last time. I was just like on track the whole time, just non-stop. Now I'm having to think a bit. So this door. Library key, right? Okay. And can't do anything in here. It's just something about the planets. And Haymat is lit up. Maybe that's where we're are where we are? I'm not sure. I don't know. Hmm. Okay. So yeah, that's that's the terrible room full of death. Um, we, I mean, we have the shotgun, but we don't, we just don't have much ammo in general. Do I want to spend, and I, I don't have inventory space anyway, so I couldn't pick up all the stuff I would get if I did kill all those guys. So no, no, no. Okay. What does the East hallway need? We can check these without alerting. Hummingbird key. We don't have that. Okay, time to go, time to go, time to go. All good, all good in the hood. Getting good at this. Oh no. No, 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 no. So I guess we'll put the cassette back, but I'm kinda... Well, no, there's that door, which I didn't check again. <laughs> oh, it's, it's open, it's not locked. Go, go, let me in, let me in, as if I take... Oh, it's just this room. Fuck. Yeah. Yeah, we checked that. I, I guess I must have saved since then. Okay, now I've got to use my repair patch. God damn it. At least that frees up a slot, I suppose. Um, hmm. Okay. So we just need keys. We need a shitload of keys. I don't know where to get any of the keys. We need a, we need a key or we need a cassette player. Presumably, the cassette player we found this tape at, the music player, is broken. I guess we can check. That's something we can do. Out of the way, lady. Stop screaming at me. So we're back up to six, right? Yeah. At least we don't have to fight anything on the way back here. So it doesn't hurt to check. It only costs us time. Yeah, knife embedded in the speaker. So this, yeah, can't use it here. Damn. Huh. Then I'm, I'm kind of stumped. Where do we? Where are we supposed to go? Where does the game want us to go? We got everything from the shooting range and the repair bay, presumably. Uh, we don't have the key for the box either, so we can't get the magnum, presumably. Um, the workshop hallway? What was in there? I guess we can go back around and look, but I don't, I don't think we have the key to whatever that is. It's going to be one of those things where you just have to... You know, one of those moments in a game where you just need to find one specific thing. And then all the other points just unravel really easily. You just get stuck on one particular thing. I might have to look at a walkthrough. I hope not. Okay, 
would you get out of the way, please? You're blocking the path. I'm trying to go. Go on, get up there. Get up there. Thank you. Honestly. I hate walking behind people in corridors. You move so slow. Get out of my way. Demon. Okay, so we can have a look at the workshop hallway. The workshop key. Where the fuck are any of these keys, man? Uh, fuck it. I'm looking at a walkthrough. I have no idea. We just, we have no leads for anything. I was hoping we could get through without one, but there's just, there's nothing to do. I may, I must have missed a key somewhere or something. Okay, let's scroll through this. Um, yeah, flashlight module. Okay. Mine chef access room, which needs an administrator's key. Leftmost door is the overflow ladder back to the upper floors. Yes. Door on the right is a dark room. The lock weapon case and the adhesive tape. Yeah, we got that. Island painting needing the island key. Yeah, safe room and the owl key. We got that. Uh, backtracking to the B7 dark room left of the looping lifts. Head north to find the island key. Okay, B7 dark room? Which one? Oh no, the one with all the enemies in it? Oh, I bet it is, isn't it? Wait. No, wait, whoa, 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 map, 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 give me map, where my map? B7, dark room. Oh, it's that door I didn't check. Fuck. Well, we can go there right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can go there right now. I, I missed that on the map. Because I'm a dumbass, turns out. Everyone knew this. Oh, yeah, the one that had you in the way. Um, I guess we can prod you, and then that would free up an inventory slot, too, even though we'd be out of, out of prods, but... Get prodded. Oh, there's something here. Oh, there's 10 mil ammo. Sick. Thanks. Okay. Flashlight, flashlight, flashlight. Okay. I don't think there's anything down there, so I'm going to proceed up there without using the flashlight. And yeah, <laughs> the, the doors need flashlight to work. Okay. We're back on track. That's, that's all it takes. You see what I mean? Uh, let me just open OBS again. There you go. I didn't minimize. Ah! Island key. Good, good, good. Calibri in the management office. One of the Calibris has holed herself up in the management office on the seventh floor. I've seen her in her illusions sitting inside the room, crying. Which one's the real one? Oh, that one! That I think that was the thing uh, that was in the island uh, island portrait room. The, the what yeah the one that was there was multiple of it until I shot the real one I think it's because of that painting in there whenever I was close to her I felt like my mind was being assaulted by the image of that island the sensation was strong enough to make me hurl Is there a way to neutralize the transmission maybe some sort of feedback loop of the frequency of a control signal yeah I figured that out I did that it was kind of obvious because they turned my radio on more 10 mil damn it's gonna be time to switch back to the pistol Veneta. Veneta. Cradle of humanity, Veneta. So is that is that the home planet, maybe? Is that the Earth equivalent? If it's the cradle of humanity or what? I don't know. Oh, oh, I nearly walked straight into you. That would have been quite impolite of me, wouldn't it? No space to carry the hunter's key. Shit. Uh well now I've got, I should have put the cassette away. Um well we can get back to the piano room. That's, uh, that's on this floor, actually. Yeah, we can do that. We're gonna have to get past some zombos again, though. Okay, just walking past here. Don't mind me. And should be... Yeah, that one just stays there. And we've... Yeah, we've checked that door. There's nothing in there. So we can ignore you. And back to the save room. I can put the cassette away. Oh, nice of you to be so far away for a change. You know, you don't always have to be disruptive. I hope you've learned that. Right, put the cassette away. Uh, put the shotgun away. Get the pistol out. I'd much rather use that on these enemies, if I'm going to be using a gun at all. Save the shotgun for bigger threats. Okay, okay, that's good. We could, I guess, put the pistol ammo away. 
just so we have more inventory space for the time being. Uh, if we even need it. But, you know, we've got ten shots. That's uh, probably enough to kill some things that move, I hope. Alright, now let's head back. Get the thing I missed. Don't sprint out of this door because there's a zombo right there. Oh, God. Alright, she just gets angry anyway, I guess. No avoiding it. That's a rip. Flashlight into there. Flashlight off, and then grab the hunter key. And that should get me the magnum. Magnamu. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh. Well, then, then you know, if we have the magnum, if it, if it does work the way magnums tend to in survival horror games, uh, we, we might just have that as a boss killer instead of the shotgun. I don't know what does more damage. Hmm. I suppose we'll have to find out, but until uh, until then, for the time being, let's go crack open a gun case. Oh, would you stop being rude? Right, come on. Come on, come over to this side a bit. There you go, lovely. Now I'm gonna juke you. I'm gonna juke you. I got jukes for days. You can't do nothing to me. Right. Give me the gun case. Yes. Now let's have a look at the hunter's key. Yeah, signed hunter. Combine with gun case. Magnum or revolver. Yeah, it's not it's not quite big enough to be a magnum, but it's good. It's a revolver. I like revolvers. A short barrel double action six shot revolver that uses 12 mm uh, 12 mm high power ammo, high recoil, strong knockback. Oh baby. Okay, I'm very glad to have that. That is uh, that that means now that any magnum ammo we don't pick uh, we pick up isn't useless anymore, which is great, fantastic. So I guess we can go do the island key. Do we want to do that right now? I guess so. We don't. Well, we don't have another lead to follow, do we? Um, okay, so that's fine imagery wise. Let's save because we made progress. We be saving. We be saving, we be scumming. All over the place, baby. So, is the island room... No, the island room is this floor. Alright. Let's head straight there. Would you fuck off? Yeah, yeah. Oh, no! Oh, you piece of shit! Hate. Hate that fucker. That one, honestly, might be worth thermiting. Maybe. I mean, we're already... <laughs> we're this late in. And we haven't thermited it already. Sunk cost and all that. Yes, so. Island key. No, use it. Use the island key. Yes. What does this get us? Oh, is that a key card? Workshop key! See? This is what I mean. With the, the everything just falling together. You just have to find that one critical point. And then all the other stuff that you've already got or already know about will, will come to come to relevance as well. Okay, so the workshop is uh, yeah, the floor that has the workshop hallway. So, on six. We are on seven. So we can get there from hmm, which way do we want to go? I guess I guess it would be faster to go via the looping lift, just because it means I go through less room. See, now we're going fast instead of going safe. How you know things have gotten wacky. Yeah, you you mind your own goddamn business. So yeah, you can you can avoid aggroing this one. I guess it was just pissy last time. All right, so is it up or down to six? I think it's up. Yes. So workshop key. Nice. Let me in. God, I love exploring places like this. It's, it's, that's half of what I love about a lot of games, really. But survival horror as well is just picking apart the puzzle that is the environment and seeing all the places and stuff. Ooh. Replica known issues part two. We saw part three before. Previous experience with these replica models has given us insight into irregularities in their behavior that stem from the... Yeah, we read this about the neural patterns. Document should be destroyed, but it wasn't. Star. 
Despite their normally laid-back demeanor, stars have a strong internal hierarchy, which is important to take into consideration when promoting units to officers. Not promoting a respected unit, or promoting a unit low in status can lead to friction within dorms. Stars will occasionally develop in-group rules involving physical punishments. Uh-oh. It is recommended to allow some officers to own military weapons as fetish objects to stabilize their persona. Oh god. Uh, an SDCR. Storch units initially have a short temper. Training them in patience early after deployment is key, as their neural pattern is less stable than other models. Failing to do so may yield an, an, an extremely volatile personality prone to cruelty and violence. A common strategy is pairing them closely with an older star unit. Storch's persona stabilizes by showering or bathing. Books on history or mythology work well as fetish objects. Hmm. It's neat having all the, the lore on the different units. Okay, we can get some ammo. What's going on here, though? Ooh! Oh, we can play the cassette! Uh, I don't have the cassette! Fuck! Damn! But okay. Oh, pistol ammo. Nice, thank you. Okay, yeah, we can take the magnum ammo, too. That clears out everything in here, but I have to go back for the magnum. Uh, not back for the magnum, back for the cassette. And then we can get what's in the owl box, presumably. Fuck off, you. So, yeah, I'm learning, I'm learning the map now. Now I know how to get back to the piano room. Fuck off, will you? Why is everyone being so impolite to me? Be nice. Okay, so revolver ammo can go away, extra pistol ammo can go away. Alright. And this we still haven't used. I think- Oh! I think this is actually- I think we actually uh, intended to use this. Kind of like with the flashlight. Like we can use it to take pictures of things. Oh, I should- I should start doing that. Hold on, let me try- Oh! Yeah, you can take photos. So there weren't any stored in it, but we can take them. Alright, that's very cool. I'm not going to use that right now. But that might come in handy. I'll try and use that instead of doing the whole screenshot thing. If I can, but it'll usually mean having to come back here. and Well, come back to a save room and pick the thing up. So, who knows? Maybe, maybe not. Okay, we're doing much better on ammo now. Much, much better on ammo. Which is great. And we still don't need to use much of it. Okay, so... Yeah, back to where we just came from. With the cassette. Don't forget the cassette. This is important. Don't come here for nothing, idiot. Would you go away? God damn. All good, all good. Oh, Angie, stop being Angie! Uh, no, we don't want to be on eight. We've been on, we want to be on six. It is nice that the, the floors are visually distinct to some degree as well. Uh, this is not the right floor. This is eight again. Fuck. We want to go to six. Yeah, the floors are reasonably uh, distinct visually. So you can be going up and down on the elevators like that and still like fairly easily find your way around. Okay. Use the music cassette. Okay, is it going to play? Ah, small radio broadcasting unit set up to broadcast the tape deck's input signal on frequency 142 kilohertz. Okay. So let's go to 142. Almost. There we go. Now we can take that back to Falk. Oh, I guess I should probably turn it off until we actually need it. Okay, so back to Falk, so that's all the way down. Again. How would you get lost? Hmm. Ooh! No, oh, yeah, we've got more space in this corridor than I actually thought. I thought, like, the wall was around here, but no, you can get down there. And totally avoid that idiot. Good to know. Get back down to eight. Now we can go... I, I hope... Like, this won't make f this this Falk angry. I hope she's just dead. I mean, I wish she was alive and happy and well, but... I don't think we can really hope for that 
given the situation. Okay, so now... Oh, I need health again. Uh, now we play this. Hey, and the owl opens. Oh, his head, his head did a spinny. Owls are so cool. So interesting. Key card. Hummingbird key. This is a good song as well. Bit of a banger. Anyway, anyway. Turn that off for now. So, which door... That was That's the library key. It might be this one, the hummingbird key. I want to say that it is. Because that's the library key. That's the eagle key. That's the administrator key. Uh, and that, that leaves only this door left. So I'm pretty sure I'm right on the money there. Run through this room. They're going to come out of the floor. Scary. Okay, so in here, I think there were a, a couple of a couple of goons in here, but I, I I think we can avoid them going to the right here. Yeah, they don't get angry unless we go up. Nice. Okay, another painting, more notes. Replica known issues part one. Yes, yes. Eula, Yules, that. Is that... Yeah, that's what we are, right? I'm fairly sure. Yules tend to form large groups and like to sing and dance, as the original neural pattern for this unit was a ballet dancer. So yeah, they're just copy and pasting brains to make these robots. Persona degradation can be easily prevented in this unit by making sure they have access to music through tape players or musical instruments. Always place at least one mirror in Yule dorms, as they have a strong urge to check their own appearance at regular intervals. I think there was. in Yeah, in the... The dorm that had the tape player with the Yule songs that had the big standing mirror in it. That's cool. Uh, Yule's persona stabilizes by keeping a tidy appearance and through regular social interactions. Yules will often organize in groups of roughly 10 units and give each other themed nicknames. Aww. Arr, arr. Even uh, Even though they might seem like quiet simpletons, do not underestimate Aras. While they do not show it, they judge those who are rude or unkind harshly and will quietly share this judgment with the entire cadre. Aras get clo uh, get along best with Yules, who tend to be patient and friendly, and have a talent for reading Aras' expressionless faces. In many facilities, Aras will construct service tunnels access accessible only to them, often under floors and in walls. Really? They're in my walls. Unstable units may retreat into these tunnels. It is not recommended to attempt to retrieve them. Oh god! Okay, so we probably actually do just have a bunch of these fucking things crawling around in the walls. Our personas can be best stabilized by allowing them to, uh, allowing them access to plants to take care of. Ideally, call for flowers or trees. Hmm. There's Ara Aras in my walls. I, I guess that's not bad. I'm not going to complain about that. I'll I will take a repair patch. We need it, actually. Perfect. There's a prod. Eagle key! For Adler's room. I'll take the prod. Ooh, Calibri. Calibri. Commando control unit bioresonance technology replica hummingbird. Ah, hence hunting, uh, the hummingbird key. Mm hmm. A marvel of modern technology, the Calibri is the most capable bioresonance unit ever produced. Every protector Furings, uh, Furings Commando's Falk unit is aided by a cadre of Calibri unit adjutants, which can amplify her bioresonant signals as well as produce their own. Despite their diminutive build, Calibris are one of the most effective protector units. Yeah, there's there's Ara Ara in the walls. There's there's mature, bountiful women inside the walls. Oh no. Able to directly influence the minds of replicas and gestalts, extract information non-verbally, and communicate among themselves instantly in the full bandwidth of the senses, the Calibri's bioresonance is the closest recreation of a true hive mind. Except for perhaps the entire mutation shit that's going on now. Or maybe they're related. Calibri's note. Keep an eye on Adler, he's hiding something from us. There was nothing in his diary, but when I probed his mind, there were memories of an LSTR unit working at Sierpinski. There's no record for that model of replica ever being deployed here. 
An order for a single unit for some survey work in the mine was briefly considered, but no new orders were, ma were made due to the commander's sickness. Hmm. A mystery unit. Can we look at the... Can't look at the picture. Alright. Oh, and there's a door here. Could very easily miss that. Oh! 79! 79! Doing this again. How do I... Yeah, there we go. 79! 79! Don't panic! Okay, find the resonant signal. 79, 79, 79. There we go, dead on. I should turn the flashlight on. Oh, 92? It changed. I took too long, I guess. 92, 92, 92. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go, nice. Whew. God, those things are scary. Take some shotgun shells. Ah, oh, no, my inventory's full. Why'd I do that? Dumbass. The post box key. Fuck. Oh. I will take that, though. Thanks. Can't max out on it, though. There's still some left over. Right, yeah. Because that reloaded us. Okay, the eagle key and the post box key. We can... Where's the nearest save? Yeah, we can just head back out. More or less. Although... Hmm. This way is kind of a pain to go, though, right? There's a bunch of bunch of lads, but we have we have gun. We could deal with lads. We have pistol. Pistol, your pistol is is for these basic lads, so we totally could use it. Just clear the way a bit if we're going to be making trips. Although I guess it's only this room we need to deal with. We can we can sn uh, mostly sneak our way past these. Except for when I fuck up. God damn it. Well, the uh, the eagle key room is right here, so I guess we'll we'll keep that on us. But we might as well go to the save room while we're here. Okay. Need to be more careful about picking stuff up. I'm such a goddamn kleptomaniac. Okay, put that away. The rest, I guess we could keep. We could put the stun prod away. Just to free up slots. And I'll take a patch to heal with. If I even need it, actually. The damage might come in over time, I'm not sure. But no, I'll, I'll put the patch away. If we don't immediately need it, it can go away. Alright. Let's save. Why not? I'm, I'm almost certain they're going to show me my save count at the end of the game. They absolutely will do it. And I'll be loud and proud about my, my saving. I'm a kleptomaniac and I'm a save maniac. Loud and proud. Right, so Adler's room was on... Yeah, Adler's room was on 8 because that's where we got the flashlight from. That's where the eagle door is. That was the f yeah, that was the floor we were on. We do want to go back and get that key, though, in the Calibri bedroom. Yeah. Because I don't know what that key... Well, we know it's for the post box, obviously, but we don't know what's in there. Yeah, it's much better going down this way. Then you almost can sneak past them properly. Right, where is it again? I've I've gone the wrong way. But if they if they reset, we can just sneak through. Right? They have not reset. Oh, don't take damage. We're fine. Woo! -hoo -hoo. Spooky. Okay. Give me my key. Thank you. And yes, 0512, which is the one we were looking at before. Now it might be better to go... Yeah, because we can, if we can... Well, if they have reset the position, we can go down, take the elevator all the way up, and then get to the post box that way. Oh, shit. I'm fine. I'm fine. Yeah, we're fine. Okay, all the way up. All the way up. Okay, but you're here. But we, we've snuck around you before.
Ah, <laughs> base, almost, almost. Uh, where am I going again? Right, all the way up. Um, to get to the post box. Get whatever's in there. Oh, don't you do a lap of the place, please. Go back down. Go back down. Go on. Ah. Oh. Okay, we're gonna have to... Oh, no. Nope, nope, nope. That didn't work out. Oh. Oh, there's a repair patch here. Shit, I missed that last time. Good find, me. Oh, no. Right, right. Good thing I got that repair patch, then. Ugh. We take dumb damage sometimes. Health is, Oh, no. Health has gone down to yellow, so... Let's use that patch right now. And let's use our key. Newfound key. Yes. Was it a key card? It's the library key. Sick. Okay, now we got two places we can go. Um, I guess it will be easy to get into the eagle room right now, so let's just go do that. Because the library is uh, down on the south side. Of the, the entire structure. Whereas Adler's room's right here. Though there is an enemy in here. This corridor. Yeah. Please don't come over here. Just go back. Go back. Go back. Wish I had a bioresonance unit. I could just tell you to go away. Uh oh. I'm fine? It's fine. It's dark. Okay. Used eagle key. This room seems important. Given that it's Adler's room, yeah. Alster! No, that's what I am! Right? Yes. LSTR. That's what we are. A lot of them look the same. But this is what we are. Almost certainly. Alster. Land survey and ship technician replica magpie. Yes. A versatile combat engineer unit primarily designed for orbital service. These tough and stoic loners are best suited as specialist sappers and scouts. Their technical knowledge and combat capabilities make these units true survivalists. Hey, that's why she's a survival horror protagonist. Especially when in their iconic white and blue heavy combat configuration. Ooh. Sports bullet-resistant armor plating on their chest and forearms. Can we get that? Since the original neural pattern for this unit was lost with the destruction of the central neural archive on Veneta, new LSTR units have been produced based on a decommissioned unit from the Penrose program. Oh. Okay. I think we've heard something about the Penrose program. Somewhere. Maybe in the flashbacks? Are the flashbacks memories from the original neural pattern? Maybe? That could explain some things. Adler's Diary. Date, 8-4-21-6. Oh yeah, they have a fucking terrible date scheme. I've been fascinated by a peculiar piece of furniture I discovered in storage. A strange box with a removable dial in the front that was confiscated from a worker some time ago. I think, was that the butterfly box? Maybe? I was instantly drawn to it, though I'm not sure why. When I put my ear on the mechanism, I, hear, I can hear it faintly clicking like a clock. Without Calibri's help, it's become much harder to coordinate the logistics cadre. If there's anything good to say about that woman, it's how she knows how to make others respect her orders. Despite her minuscule stature, she's small. I went to see her today, but her room's still locked. I had a dream tonight. Another memory of my gestalt life, I believe. I was wearing my uniform. There was a young woman, her hair white as snow, and I was conducting some sort of test. I had a deck of cards with astronomical symbols on them, and asked her to guess the planet on the card I was holding. Okay. Okay, so it, I guess it's maybe a normal thing for replicas to have gestalt dreams, which is maybe similar to what we've been having. But, you know, we've been receiving items and upgrades from our flashbacks slash dreams, whatever they are. So I don't know what the deal is with that. And we've heard about a white-haired woman in a memory before. That was Falk. Falk, Falk wanted to know who a white-haired woman was. I was playing with that mechanical lock again, which I'm now sure is some kind of astronomical calendar This is going to need the, the orrery, when I suddenly remembered a conversation I had with another replica when I was inspecting the mining site. However, it was clearly a model I've never seen before, some type of engineer with an orange chess piece. In my memory, she was just another member of our staff, but no such replica was ever stationed on Sierpinski. Was that the one that uh, the Calibri read his memory of? 
Replica memory is not the most reliable, they say, but never before have I experienced such a strange phenomenon. The little enigma of that box could only distract me from the chaos around me for so long. Wait, now the date has an A in it? What the fuck? All the box contained was a small notebook. Okay, I don't think that's the butterfly box then. Of which all pages turned out to be blank. It has been miserable since our beloved commander has fallen ill. I long for her stern guidance. That overwhelming authority in which she bathes the room. Alright, bro. My man Adler likes to be ordered around. I, I'm beginning to understand you, Adler. More sick, making my work ever harder. How we meant to shoulder work... Uh, how, how... No. How we meant to shoulder this workload with no reinforcements? My only consolation is that our protector staff decreases, so does the workforce we oversee. While more and more replica end up in the hospital wing, Gestalt workers seem to succumb much too fast for any attempts at treatment. Another diary filled for no benefit but my own satisfaction. I've not ordered a new one yet since I spent my saved ration marks on that marvellous looking fountain pen, but I guess I'll make use of that notebook. Oh, the blank one he found. Hmm. Okay. So what's going on here? Ah! This must be the box. There's a hole in the front of the box. It looks like something is missing from the mechanism. Okay, so we don't have what we need for that. And there's all these cards lying around. But this, hold on, this card down here, isn't that, well, we can't see it. Isn't that the same symbol that we had on the weird thing that we got from the butterfly box? With, like, the the fleshy, meaty bit on it? Hmm. Maybe. But okay, we need something else to interact with that safe. So I guess we can go check out the library. Why not? How do we get there from here? Shrine box. Okay. That's on this floor, so let's just head down there. It's too dark to see, man. Oh, God. So, yeah, that can happen. Like, you can be forced to have your flashlight on and automatically aggro some enemies. But, God, this game's so cool, man. Absolutely adore playing this. Makes me want to play more survival horror stuff, but... Maybe I'll play some of them on the new consoles, or the old consoles. Oh, someone's alive. Hello, hello. How's it going? You alright? Don't even want to talk? Okay, well, I'll have a look around then. If if you're not going to talk. I just want to talk to you to be polite. Miner again. Yeah. When it comes to dangerous cargo, heavy machinery, and hazardous environments, no other model rivals the MNHR units with the high security power armor bodies. Even in lethal radiation, under crushing pressure and in zero G, they keep their calm demeanor and show exemplary teamwork, except for when their faces turn into blood. Despite their hulking bodies, underneath their face shields, uh, shields a standard generation three cranial construction can be found, making maintenance and social interfacing as easy as with any other replica model. Okay. I, I, get, I was gonna ask like why, if, if you want a purely like a purely work robot, why does it need to have like the neural patterns and the personality and the face? But I guess if you want it to work as like a member of staff, maybe, I guess. But I guess the point is with these robots, they're designed to be independent. Like this is the exact kind of situation where you would want very intelligent robots working in concert with humans, probably it, in these, you know, if, if we're talking, like, relatively near-future sci-fi space travel, it's going to take a long time to get anywhere. Like, it would even take, you know, week... Like, with, with real-world technology, grounded technology, barring some kind of, you know, faster-than-light wormhole, whatever, breakthrough, it would take weeks even to get around in the solar system. Which it seem, seems to be what they're doing. They may be just operating within their own solar system, but I'm not sure about that. Uh, but even more so, if they were operating extrasolar, you would really want... You, you would want something like this. Something that could adapt to changes in situation and just, you know, new, new situations and stuff. You wouldn't want dumb robots, I guess. So smart robots make sense. It's all right. Uh... But yeah, uh, yeah, okay, read all that. Please note that the MNHR neural pattern is not suited for combat use. For combat applications, the SAPR variant should be used, which employs a combat-capable persona in the same frame. For more information, see Schwerer Antipanzer Replica Schnapper. Oh, 
Okay, but it was it was a miner that we fought, not a schnapper. Schnapper. Great name. Ooh. Manual controls obstacle detected. Okay. Okay, so those things are blocking us. And I guess we have to get to this slot, maybe? Do we not want to take something from inside here, or what? I don't know. Okay. Well, that gets that there, but I, I don't think we want that. Or I'm not sure if we want that. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know what this is. I assume maybe we want that. Oh, we probably have to stop on that then. Okay, I understand. I understand. So from there we can't. From there we can't go anywhere. Uh, how do we get back to where we started? Um, kind of screwed myself here, haven't I? Shit! How do we get back? Oh, I'm terrible at these puzzles, man. Hmm. Because we were in, we were, we were over on the right side. I'm assuming we want to grab this thing out of there, but we have to, we have to stop on the exact point. Hmm. That doesn't reset the puzzle, does it? That would be too nice. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Anything else we can look at in here? There was a a health thing there and some stuff to read that might help oh it's more about calibri oh replica known issues part four there's more previous experience with this replica model has given us in uh, yeah we've read that great care should be given to calibris their neural patterns are very unstable and their bioresonance module makes them very susceptible uh, susceptible to influence from others like most bioresonant individuals calibris will often subconsciously create an emotional feedback loop Imitating and then broadcasting the emotions of those around them, acting as a sort of amplifier. Right, which I guess is why the Calibris are turning into those w weird fucking amplifier monsters then. While they are trained to recognize and disengage this behavior, already unstable units can sometimes spiral into persona degradation. Due to their bioresonant connection, neural pattern development in Calibris varies less than in other models. The constant exchange of memories and emotions between units of a cadre acts as, acts as a safety net that buffers extreme changes. However, once a majority of units in a cadre degrade, they will drag remaining units down with them. Because of this, it's important to decommission Calibri units instantly when they begin to degrade. For Persona Civilization, Calibri should have access to a well-stocked library. Okay. So I guess this is a Calibri. Oh, yeah it is. Now I can talk to it. Who are you? You're not one of our staff. But yeah, all the other Calibris are fucked, so this one should be spiraling, then. The others, they've changed. We no longer sing in unison. Yeah, that sounds pretty creepy. I used to be able to see into their minds. We were as one. Oh no, don't, don't become as one. Together we guided them all. But now I can't understand the thoughts anymore. Hmm. Never been so alone before. They're still together, and I'm here, outside. They won't let me in. Cannot stand their song anymore. This is the only place where I don't have to hear them. This is the only place I'm safe. Oh no. Can't go on like this. Wish I'd become like the others too. At least then, I wouldn't be alone. Oh god. That is truly dire. I hate this. Oh. That's really rough, Calibri. But I, I think, I think you're in a good spot because you're not insane and a weird monster. You're doing all right. Oh, there's a patch. Do I need a patch? No. All right, cool. Can't read that book. Okay. So just this machine then. How do we get back? Because like this area is a trap. We can only go left from here. We can't go. And that's the way we came in. Though I guess... Ah! No! We go down, then right, then down. Then... Ah, okay. I didn't see this here, because it was blocked. Okay. Now we can get towards this. We need to go up, right, and then up, and then we're on the thing. Oh, God! It's the king in yellow! Oh, no! Pick up the astrolabe. Oh, no. I got my astrolabe from the king in yellow. 
Oh no. Okie dokie. A strange clockwork like dial mechanism with astronomical symbols on the front. Then we can't combine it, inspect it. The back of the device, yeah, slots into a large mechanism. So I guess we need to go slot it into the safe. Priority one. Uh, what's in your inventory right now? Oh yeah. Oh, uh, well, we could combine these or I could just save them. We've got four spray pluses that I haven't used. I guess they, I, I hold on to them for emergency healing. Which hasn't happened yet. Game has Eldritch influence? Oh yeah, absolutely it does. Uh, one of the first things we did like in the in the opening of the game, we crawled into a flesh hole in the ground on a on a, a completely barren icy planet. We crawled into that ice hole and the flesh hole in there, and then there was just a room in there. And the thing that we interacted with that triggered the end of that sequence was interacting with the King in Yellow. Like the book was just there, so they're being very loud and proud about about the influences for this game. But yeah, there's some shit going on. Like. Things outwardly seem at least somewhat straightforward, but there have been hints of something more. Like, obviously, there's the uh, this whole bioresonance thing, which is kind of like an eldritch, you know, eldritch being's mind encroachment, which may have caused all the, the mutations in the biological components, causing all the monsters. But also, we've had stuff like we, we viewed a tape and then we went into the tape, and then the item that we got from the tape went into our inventory. And we've been getting items from flashbacks as well. Those have been carried into the present. So things are definitely not what they seem. To what capacity, I'm not certain. Um, but yeah, they, they've just put the king in yellow there again to remind us. Okay, so inventory. I guess we need to go put those extra heals away. And... Yeah, that's where the shrine box is. So I guess we'll just go back around. And we can try and... Well, we can go drop off the uh, the thing in the in the shrine box. And then go drop the stuff off. And we'll probably have to go back down to the orrery. To... Um, to figure out the, the combination for the box. Excuse me, coming through. But yeah, it's like sci-fi Eldritch Horror, which I, I dig. I severely dig. And I just went past where we need to go, didn't I? Yeah. Uh, well, I guess I'll go put the stuff away now, then. While that enemy calms down. So we might have to go past them anyway, but might as well stash everything. And save, I suppose. Okay. Away. Away you go. Away you go. All right, and save. Uh, oh, that vaguely reminds me. I was doing a bit of research into the, the PS1 light gun games that I've got, and I don't think they will work with... Um, maybe it would work with, like, the test monitor I've been using, but I'm not... Maybe not even that. I think the, the, the light gun games for the PS1 are, like, designed for CRT, and I don't, I don't have that. I just have a... I just have a TV that has basically every input on it. Uh, so I don't know if I'd be able to play them at all. I, it'd be very questionable if I'd be able to stream them. But uh, I've got them. I, I need to check if stuff like RE Survivor... Like, there are... Because I've got, like, three light gun games, I think. I've got uh, a Time Crisis game. Well, actually, I might have another one now, because I got those games today. And that has a, a not Time Crisis. But that, that might not be a light gun game. I don't think it is. Um, but yeah, that time cri time crisis game, Point Blank One, and Resident Evil Survivor, and I'd really like to try Resident Evil Survivor because it's it's an RE that I don't really know anything about, which is interesting. Okay, back down to eight and Adler's room. But yeah, I did I did uh, I was given uh, very kindly given some PS2 games today. Being a games gotten today, Dwarf Fortress. Ooh, nice. I hope you have fun with it. You've got uh, many p potential hundreds and thousands of hours ahead of you there. So have fun with that. Hell yeah. Absolutely fantastic game. Uh, but yeah, I got given some PS2 games because I'm, I, you know, got my PS2 working and I'm going to be streaming stuff off that. Uh, including some interesting games. Some quite interesting games. Uh, 
uh, basically none of which I've played, except for Flat Out. I, I think I already have that one. I still haven't found my other PS2 games, though. Need to go dig them up. I hope they're around somewhere and they've not been, like, permanently lost. Because there's a lot of really good games in there. Uh, but I've also now got a, uh, a PS2 copy of Devil May Cry 2, <laughs> which um, you know damn well I'm going to stream that. I've already got Devil May Cry 2 because I've got it on Steam, but... Now I can play it on original hardware. Oh, baby. Right, use the astrolabe. Okay, so... Okay, that's the star symbol we've seen. And then circle, pause, hexagon. And a button in the middle. Okay, right. So, the the room... That was on... Yeah, on the 8th floor. We need to go back down there. Alright. Back down to the 8th floor. Oh god. Oh, f oh! I just ran into it. Like an idiot! Like the goddamn idiot that I am. Frig. We have to go back that way, too. Is this the room? Yeah, it is. Right, so... Star. But what about... What about the other elements? How do the other elements of the puzzle factor into this? If star is Haymat, then what is everything else? How does that translate? Mm hmm. Obviously, it's something to do with this. Because of the symbol and it being an astrolabe and everything. And the, the, the note said it had something to do with the planets as well. <sighs> okay, so presumably... Right, so... Hema is the star, so I guess we need, whatever planets it is we need to represent, we need to represent them, their position relative to Haymat. So when it, whenever Haymat is at the top, we need positions that match that. Okay, it's, okay, 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 so it's the rings past Haymat. Okay, okay. This would be a really good time to use the photo thing, actually, if if they let me use it here. Uh, I'm going to go back and get it, given that I said I would use it. Now's the perfect time. Okay, no hits. No getting hit, please. There we go. I'm better at snaking through them when I'm coming from the bottom. Are you going to prove to be an issue, though, or are you going to be nice? Oh, you're going to be nice. Wow. I genuinely was not expecting that. Okay. Why not? Why not? Less enemies, less problems, baby. But yeah, I'm looking forward to get every getting everything set up. Because I'm waiting for these next two things. The uh, I'm getting a new... Uh, I, I, meant, I think I mentioned the RHCP situation already. So I'm waiting for a HDMI split to solve that. Then I'll be able to stream from the PS3. But also... Uh, I got a new uh, extension lead as well, like power bar, whatever you want to call it, uh, that just has more capacity. And a couple of the things that I'm powering now, including the uh, the HDMI split, uh, I just powered off USB, but my current power bar doesn't have any USB ports on it. Uh, so I'm getting one that does on top of it having higher capacity. So then I'll be able to power that and the, uh, the, ups the HDMI upscaler with that and get more plugs because right now I think my at least one of my VR lighthouses is unplugged because I needed to make room but yeah it'd be nice to have more space there too and I should I think be getting a some shelves at some point to put all the consoles on so they're not all scattered across the floor right photo module we we use it health is yellow I could use a bandy yes yeah, it's not it. Oh no, don't retrieve all three. Um, it's nice that we've got more patches than we do repair sprays because I'm basically just using repair sprays to craft into repair spray pluses, even though I haven't really used any yet. Uh, and using repair patches whenever I do take damage it seems like a good way of handling things. I think I'm using my resources. But yeah, I'm really and I found because I have a a, a a HDMI switch which I had lying around. So, like, you know, three HDMI sources plug into it. 
and then you can just press a button on it to toggle between the three. That's really nice. It's going to help to uh, reduce the amount of cable switching I'm going to need to do. Though I still will need to for the older consoles. It's basically, I can plug in, I'm probably going to plug into it the, the PS3, the Switch, and then the upscaler to, you know, cover its three slots. And then that feeds into the, uh, the, the capture card. And then I can capture all of those without having to, like, unplug anything. I'll still have to switch out the component plugs into the upscaler whenever I want to switch those consoles, but it'll definitely help Gamer Instinct, but I'll need those high potions later. But I will! I don't need them now. See, look! I'm back at full health. All I needed was... was a bandy. If I was, if I was being an absolute mega gamer gremlin kleptomaniac, I would have just not used it. And be like, no, 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 I need to take more damage so I can use a repair spray. No, no, no. I'm being efficient. I'm not, well, I am being a gamer, but I'm being a good gamer, not a bad gamer. Right, so. Uh, we're going back down to 8 for the Astrolabe. And for, um. For the, well, yes, for the Astrolabe. And for the RRE as well. Back down we go. But that's, like, you know, in, in some games, it's definitely a problem. Like, if you're saving, you know, potions and healing items and stuff, when you could just use them, then yeah, that is bad. But this is a survival horror game, you know? It's, for me, it's a core part of the genre, is making best use of your resources and, and saving what you've got till later. That's what it's all about. Because, you know, not doing that is how you end up like I was towards the start of the stream, where I just didn't have enough ammo for anything. You need to preserve what you've got when you really need it. Okay, so. So we'll look at this, and now we should... Yeah, we need to equip this. And then we have the module. We can activate it. So, hey, Matt. The star needs to be in the north position. So we'll wait for it to get there. Then we'll take a photograph. And then the rings going inward from Haymat should be the code on the astrolabe, I think. So wait for it, wait for it. There we go. Photographed. Oh, look at that! It's so low quality! Oh, this is such a cool mechanic. Oh, I wish I had figured that out earlier. That that was what that was for. That's so sick. Right, let's head back. <laughs> God, that's so cool. <laughs> okay, going past again. Maybe, hopefully, I won't have to go past you guys again. Okay. But yeah, I've been looking here and there at games to maybe get for the old consoles as well. And some of it is going to be, um, like, some games would be impractical to get. Like, I almost have every Metal Gear, well, every mainline Metal Gear, shit, wrong room. I don't have MGS1, I have demos for MGS1, but that's it. Um, but I've got 2 and 3 and Peace Walker via the HD collection on PS3. Then I have 4 on PS3 as well. And, you know, 5 is fine. But I'm kind of close to just being able to do an almost entirely um, original hardware Metal Gear marathon, which would be sick. Um, I really I don't have any Silent Hills, but I'd like to get some of them. But I, I think Silent One, Silent Hill One, is kind of expensive to get a copy of on PS One uh, and Three, I think as well. I haven't looked at Two, but probably the same for Two. Actually, come to think of it, oh dear. Okay, right, so, also I, I really appreciate that you can just go and look at your inventory and, okay, a few photographs, but yeah, okay, so Haymat is up top, the next row is right front, which is bottom left, okay, no, don't take a photograph, you, got that, no, exit, exit out, okay, so that's bottom left, uh, can't delete my photographs, I guess. No, I didn't. I don't want to take another photo. I'm so bad with cameras. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. So, next after Rut Front is Kitej, which is top left, and Veneta, which is top left. 
And that's all of them, I think. So top left, top left, and then that's it. But it's not. Oh no. But there's another there's another thing on the ins there's like another Hold on. Cause like look, if you compare there's also Buyan. Do we have to go out from Buyan? Or I guess Oh, probably Kotej and Veneta are are the same. Is that why it's a pause icon? Because there's two of them? Okay, so Buyan bottom right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Buyan bottom right. And then these two are here. And then this. Yeah! God, I'm good. I love this game's puzzles. Oh, the administrator's key. We can leave. Cool. And this, a book. Shrine Diary. Hmm. But this was, yeah, this was a safe that was um, confiscated from someone. Why do they have an administrator key? Well, I guess we'll try and figure out with trying to figure out who this diary is. Is it, is this maybe the diary of the mysterious replica who nobody, nobody knows where they came from? I've started yet another new diary. How time flies. The work is dull and monotonous as ever in Sipinski, but a bright light illuminates my day. Today, I was invited to a meeting by Commander Falk, and she was a magnificent... Oh, wait, no. No, Adler said he was going to fill the empty diary. So, no, he probably had this open. And then used this diary. So, this is probably, this is probably Adler, I think. And yeah, she was... A... And yeah, he, it's him saying that the, the, the Commander was as magnificent as ever. That's definitely him. He wants to be stepped on by Falk. Another day passes. During my meeting with the Commander today, I felt the strangest sensation of familiarity as I sat with her. Sadly, our meeting was interrupted by an unexpected power outage. I've been feeling strangely paranoid these days. Never before have I felt so strongly the sensation of deja vu as I had these past few days. When I checked the pages of my diary today, I noticed that for some inexplicable reason, I seem to have dated my previous entries with today's date. What an embarrassing mistake. Oh. Every day feels like a bit like I've lived it before. And even stronger is the sensation that something is somehow just slightly out of place. Why is my diary filled with entries I cannot recall writing? Why are they all dated to today? Has the loss of my beloved commander finally gotten to my mind? Am I going insane? I fear what will happen to me if anyone finds out. I am alone in this. If they've discovered my notes, I'll be de decommissioned too. Okay, so he lost his mind. <laughs> or something happened. Something's wrong. I can feel it. Is this really madness? When I, re when I read the pages of my diary, I recall events that never happened. A yesterday that never was. Yet it feels as real as the one I actually experienced. This cannot merely be a defect of my mind. Feels as though, in this room, I peer into another version of reality. How? I do not know. Perhaps I, too, have become sick like the others, without realizing. But I will not succumb. A slow accumulation of reproduction errors. A gradual corruption of information. A story misremembered. Slowly morphing with each retelling. Like genetic material, mutating and evolving. Like the replica mind, copied over and over from an aging template? I do not know, but I will find out. The answers lie below. I can feel it. Someone or something calls me from there, in the mine. Oh boy. Maybe Adler lost it, or maybe Adler didn't lose it. I really don't know. Because, I mean, things are fucked up. And there is probably seemingly insane old Eldritch shit going on too, so... Uh, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't put it past everything being fucked up. So yeah, I don't think there's anything else for us to get. Yeah, we just gotta go to the mineshaft. Alright, so let's, um, where are we at again? Yeah, we're here. Oh, we're right next to the mineshaft access, actually. So let's go out, we'll save, manager inventory, and then we'll go. I assume, like, last time we had a boss, they gave us a boss fountain ahead of it. So I assume we're not going to be screwed over, like dropped into a boss without knowing. Even if we, even if that does happen, I guess that's not too bad, because we have our saves and we can just, you know, redo any progress that we do potentially lose. So I'm not too worried about it, I suppose. But that other zombie in that corridor is awake now. Frig. Frig and shid and fog. Right away, you go, photo module, and we need the admin key, and everything else can stay. All right. And save. Progress made. Feels like we've solved this section of the game. Feels good. 
It is like solving a puzzle box or unraveling a tangled cable, which I can relate to having untangled all those cables recently. God, that was a nightmare. That was truly horrible. But you know, it's satisfying when it's done. When I was untangling those cables, it was like, it started off really hard because everything is entangled with everything else. But for each cable you un untangle, every other ca uh, cable comes slightly looser. So the puzzle becomes easier and easier the closer you are to solving it. So I guess it's like that. It's a good analogy. Good analogy. Right. Into the elevator I go. You can't throw me down every elevator shaft in this damn place, Adler. The mine shaft access elevator controls. If she's still alive, she's probably there. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we are looking for someone, by the way. And we did hear about her being sent down there. Take the elevator to the mine. Let's go. I mean, not likely she's alive, though, because this zombie stuff, whatever it is, that is infecting the biological components of us robots and the gestalts is, uh, capital two. Limina Liminalitat? Oh, no. Oh, shit! That's, it's, no, that's the other lady we met earlier before. I know you're here. Oh, shit. I've done this countless times before. Adler, you need to calm down. You don't belong here. Oh, shit! Go on, get his ass! Yeah! Eat shit, Adler! He dropped his gun. Cyclus. Don't know what that means. Okay. I guess Adler just got fucking taken care of. Unless he's gonna turn into a monster. He probably will. But yeah, all the, all the fleshies seem to have gotten fucked. Oh, we're in the mine now. It is truly time to enter the Mouth of Madness. I'm ready. Ooh. Okay, this feels kind of unnaturally blocked off. Like, there are natural formations that look like this. I know that. But that's that over there was like a corridor that was blocked off with that. Hmm. Stranger and stranger. It feels, you know, it feels like this is the place. If we're going to uncover any dark, forbidden secrets, this is where we're going to uncover them. Or any eldritch entities. Oh, that's a bunch of the mining guns that the miner units had. Can I take one of those? Can it can it be like RE3 Remake? And I just blast the final boss with a giant rail gun? That'd be cool. Still need to play that game. Hmm. I wonder if this will do the, the whole RE thing, though. Where you get a final weapon at the end to blow something the fuck away with. Or if it's going to stick more to Silent Hill rules. I wonder. What is that? I don't know what anything is. Down here. Hmm. Do we have a map of this area? No map data. Oh, no. So we're probably, probably not going to solve any puzzles down here, but maybe. Ah, save room. Okay, there's a save room, but no map. Ooh, a flare gun. Okay. And signal flash shells. Does this is this like a thermite gun? Does it work like that, or, or is this for specific enemies, or what? I'll take the spray. Let's have a look at it. Single shot gun for firing 26.5 millimeter emergency signal flare cartridges that incinerate targets. Yes. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, burn bright red for a short amount of time after a delay. Okay. Interesting. Very interesting. Let's put that one repair spray away. Are we going to be dealing with enemies bad enough that I'm going to want to shoot thermite at them? Hmm. I don't know. We haven't used the magnum yet. I don't know what we're going to be facing. I guess we'll go forward with this. I'll, I'll go back out and just check around. See if there's anywhere else to go out there. Yeah, we'll go forward like this for the time being, but if I find reason to switch to the Magnum, I will do it. Okay, anything up here? Oh, oh, I was going to say a dead miner, but no, she's not dead. Ah, hello. You're not a protector, are you? What brings you here? I'm Bale. 
If you're down here, you're probably looking for something. I'd help you, but one of my hydraulics failed, and I can't move. I'm pretty much done for, so you can just leave me here. There's no point repairing an old unit like me, so don't worry about it, okay? I want to repair you. It'd be a waste of resources. No! I want to repair. Nice robot. I'd offer you my mining laser, but I don't think your frame could supply the power output. You're probably better off using a gun. There should be some useful equipment in the mining office. It's just south of here. Yeah, I just went there. Don't worry about me. There are many replacements. No! You're special! Don't... I don't... I don't want... I don't want there to be disposable robots. That's sad. We're just replicas after all, right? No! In the end, what's one drop to an ocean? You could say that about people! It's still not true. When I die, they'll just make another. Oh. Thank you for talking to me. I hope you find what you're looking for. Oh, Man. I want you to be okay, Bale. I'm gonna find hydraulics for you. I'm gonna find you some spare hydraulics, I swear to god. If we don't- if we can't find any spare hydraulics for Bale, I'm gonna be real upset. I'm gonna be pissed. Bale! Hmm. Oh wait, there's a note here. Is that about the flare gun? Or... Alina's Diary, 3. It's worse than I thought. Everyone's disappeared. I still haven't found any trace of Elster. It's as if she had never been here. Yeah, Elster's us. So she was here looking for us, but we weren't here? Something's wrong with the protectors, those that are still around. A guard spotted me earlier, sneaking out of the medical wing. She let out a monstrous scream as she chased after me. When I looked back, I saw her face, and now I can't forget. It looked like she'd been in some horrible accident. Oh, God. Scary. Let's save again. I've got to. What What if I die? Then I'd have to go talk to Bayo again. Not that I don't want to talk to Bayo, but we'd have to go through the same dialogue again. I'd have to read that note again. It's important. Oh shit. Oh god! There's an Akira elevator. Wait! I wasn't done exploring. Oh god. Are we gonna fight Mr. X here? I don't want to. God, this game looks gorgeous. Because it's like, it's an actual environment. It's 3D rendered, so it has, like, proper dynamic lighting and stuff. It's fucking gorgeous. It just looks like a PS1 game or some shit. No, I'm going back. I need to see what's up there. But god, this game is beautiful. Oh my god. Like I said last time, I, you know, I didn't need to play this game for long for it to already be a game of the year contender for me. Like, easily game of the year contender. Absolutely stellar. Look at those dynamic shadows. Oh, the crustiness of it. I love, I love PS1 aesthetic, bro. That's why it, it might, it pro it will be expensive. I, I don't know. But I really, one way or another, I really want to play Silent Hill 1 on original hardware. Because holy fuck, that game looks so good. It's fucking locked. Of course it is. Well, I had to check, didn't I? Still no map data. Hmm. Yeah, we got the flare gun if we need it. But um, I, I just love that aesthetic so much. And I've, you know, before I found this PS1, I'd never actually played a PS1 before. Played any PS1 games, really. So it's not like I've got a, a, a personal nostalgia for it or anything. I just think it's neat. Like, I, I love that kind of very early, th but still very soulful 3D. And Silent Hill 1 is the peak of that for me. Right, onward we go. I assume there's not going to be any puzzles in this area, given that there's no map. Which makes me feel like it'll maybe be a boss fight. Oh, there's something there. Stay in the dark, stay in the dark. I wonder if the actual lighting of the room affect stealth as well. It might. This room's full of shit. Go back. No. Okay, I'm gonna follow you around then. Assuming you're gonna cycle around. Maybe you won't. I don't think I don't think I can sneak past behind there. Maybe, but I'm not sure I wanna risk it. Go on, go on. Oh no, he's going back. Oh, fuck, it came this way. Okay, okay. Oh, this is bad. Oh, this is real bad. Oh, shit. 
Time to go. Time to go. Time to go. Oh, yeah. We're going this way. Maybe there's other stuff in the room. I can't search right now. Okay, that wasn't good. I took damage and wasted some of my ammo. Hmm. i got to figure out where and when I want to use flares. I'm not sure yet. Oh, someone back there. There's a couple of people back there. A couple of replicas. What does this say? Monofilament fiber. Risk of death! <laughs> it's, it's like, um... Like Dark Souls. You know, equipment at risk. Poisoned. Cursed. Risk of death. Monofiber will effortlessly cut through limbs and equipment in an instant. Always wear protective clothing. Do not touch monofiber without proper protective gear. Only handle in brightly lit places. Jesus, monofiber's scary. Why, why the hell will monofiber just kill me and my family and everyone that I've ever loved? Why does monofiber hate? I need my, like, surviving edged weapons-esque monofiber instructional video, safety video. Hey, how's it going, guys? Hey, don't cry. It'll be over soon. Oh, remember that time we went to the surface? The stars were so beautiful. I wish we could go there again. Oh. Hey, listen. I'll let you in on a secret. I can remember my name from my old life. Oh, shit. Isn't that funny? Oh, it's not funny. It's miserable. Don't you want to know it? Here, I'll tell you. It'll be our secret together. So you can stop crying, okay? Oh. It'll be okay. Wherever it is I'm going, I'll wait for you there. Oh. Oh, no. Everything's miserable. Were, what, were these all killed by monsters or were they killed by monofiber? Oh, no. I didn't even get anything out of this room, and I'm just sad. Fuck. Oh, God. Okay, that's what they mean by monofiber. Got it. The monofiber is the barbed wire. Shit. Oh. Almost missed that. Gaming. Okay. So, monofiber is barbed wire. Got it. Understood. Barbed wire tutorial room. Okay. All the aggro's reset, at least. I don't know where the exits are. Oh, shit. Uh, can I... Yeah, sneak over here. Then wait for you to go past, then go around to the right. Cause th the whole top area is is where we haven't searched in this room yet. Can we sneak through the middle there, dare I? Go on. Oh, shit! Fuck! Just brings in everyone. Oh, no. All right, go, 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 go. Go to wherever we're going. Go this way. This place is awful. Let me out. Probably going to need that spray soon. I guess we'll hold on, because I don't know how much a spray is worth. It's worth a lot. A large amount of health over time. So we could probably take more damage and get up to full, maybe? We haven't really used spray enough to know. What is this thing? Uh-oh. 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 They didn't like that. Time to use the flare gun. Lower your shield, fucker. Lower it. Try it. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, it's time to use the spray. Uh, I, yeah, I just blew my flare and it didn't do anything. I need you to drop your shield. You have to, like, run away from them to get them to drop the shield. Okay, that's you down. We have to reload this thing manually every shot. Oh, Hit, I'm hit. Okay, I think we can go. Okay, drop down. Go, slide down. Oh, right. So we just needed to save time there. Okay, is this fleshy material or is that just tape? It's probably tape. Yeah, this looks like it's been marked out for demolition maybe. Okay, this place is pretty scary. That's locked. We still, yeah, still got no map data. So I'm assuming it's going to remain fairly linear. What the hell is down here? Like, aside from the mutations and 
maybe hearing some things about memories and... Oh, this is where that cutscene happened. Yeah, we still don't really know... Like, we haven't seen much Eldritch influence yet. So I guess, what's her name? Uh, took, took Adler's gun, because that was left here. In the cutscene. Huge hole in the ground. I can hear the sound of water from below. Looks like there's no other way. Jump into the hole? Yes. Descend further into the planet. Oh, no. What could go wrong down there? Oh, hey, you. Mysterious. Oh, it's red. That's aggressively red. I don't do well with the color red. Hurts my optical senses. Oh, first person segment. Okay, so I I think this will be a different time period then. I really hope it is because <laughs> going all the way underground and then emerging to this would be uh, absolutely petrifying. Oh, no. I mean, it's pretty scary anyway. I get the feeling we're supposed to go right, which is why I'm going left, but we move very slowly. Oh, wait, there's a note here. It kind of reminds me of those Dread X games, these segments. Not complaining, those are, those were very good games. The night where black stars rise and strange moons circle through the skies, but stranger still. Oh no. There we go. Mr. Lovecraft, please go away. I'm not ready. There's more notes over here. Oh no. Song of something something unsung, as tears unshed shall dry and die. Uh, <laughs> okay. This seems like a dead end, so I guess it's just for the notes, maybe? Oh wait, no, there's something there. It calls me, in a sea of flesh, we will become one, but I can never go back to being me. Oh no. <laughs> Don't become as one. Don't join the sea of flesh. But there was something here. What's in there? What's hidden? Hmm. I don't have a way to crouch down, but there is something in there. What is that? Can't get a good look at it. Is it a book? Or something? Hmm. Let me just check again that we've got no way to get in there right now. Because this is my this is my movement speed. This is as fast as I go. So if I'm gonna go to the other end of the beach, it better be for a damn good reason. Okay, can't click to interact. Oh, and thank you for the pets, Val. Hello. I'm terrified. I'm on. A, I, I do really need the pets now. We're on Mr. Lo ah, ah, Mr. Lovecraft's funny beach. Was that timed? Because that was the timer running down, and then it turned grey. What did they mean by this? Oh. Okay. We're down the hole now. Oh, God. We're in the flesh pit. This is bad. Okay, let's go, I guess. Can we go? Is that... Oh, is this the door? Oh, okay. Gotcha, gotcha. Oh, no. Everything down here is dead. Are these the gestalts that died, or... Or the replicas? We haven't really seen many gestalts. We don't know much about them. Another repair spray, though. Could maybe use that. I guess we'll hold on for now. If I need an inventory slot desperately, then I can use the repair spray. Ooh, red note. This is some uh, Silent Hill shit. Offerings. And in the darkness, the dead shall be offered. A light and holy spot. Uh, a light and holy spices so they may find a way out of this cursed place. Huh. That sounds bad. I can't take the auto-injector. What's this? Oh, God. This is some ritual implement. Ancestral tablets are lined up against the wall. The names are illegible due to where. Why are there ancest ancestral tablets deep at the bottom of a mine in a, a space base on a planet? Oh, no. Small cup filled with sand for placing offerings stands in front of the ancestral shrine. Okay, so what is what is, what is the offering? A light and holy spices. So, we don't have, I don't think we have spices, but we have a light. We have the flashlight, right? Could we use it here? Well, no, it doesn't let me. Hmm. Yeah, using it just turns it on. 
a light and holy spices. And this is like the entire place too. We have, yeah, we have no map either. Um, so not much else to interact with. It's just here and the corpses. Guess we can go back. I was expecting one of these bodies to be gone. Wait, there's a door here. Ah. Gotcha, gotcha. A what? Wait, what? We went, we, oh god, we exited on the left side, and then entered on the left side. Oh god. This is why there's no map. Oh fuck. Can't carry the patch. Can carry the ammo. Let's go. Ooh. Okay. I thought this was going to be one of those, like, you press one and it activates all of the ones adjacent to it, but it wasn't that. Because I'm good at those puzzles. You do like this, then this, then then something over here. I'm just good at those. But okay. We've got an impossible shape. That bodes well. And a door to the right and a locked door here. Unlocked from the other side. Okay. So we're just doing this without a map, I suppose. Could do with a save room. I can't pick up, pick up any of this shit. My inventory's full. What's that? Oh! Okay, but I can I can kite them around. Because they're stupid. I don't need to use any of my ammo here. They were almost trying to surround me there. Right, what is this? Look at it. A large wooden doll. Well, I can't take that right now. I need a save room. Okay, we can go down. And there's a note. Warnings. This place, here, nothing valued is here. What is blank was dangerous and repulsive. Message is a warning about blank. The danger is still present. Blank, time as it was, blank, is to the body and blank. Form of the danger is blank. The danger is blank, disturb this place, blank. Shunned and left uninhabited. Huh, when blank within is killed, a path will open here. And that's on like an official sign. But it, it reads as very culty. How frightening. We are truly in Silent Hill now. Look at this shit. It's just rust and metal grating. I'm home. <laughs> okay, let's, let's go in here. Can I get a save room? Yes! Okay, okay, okay. Leave. Leave this... Leave, leave this place. Okay. I wonder if that has any other meaning, or if it's just telling me to leave. Ah, and another shape. Oh god, I'm gonna have to remember these. Well, I'm gonna have to grab the, uh, the camera again at some point. Because, as we've established, that thing is really useful. So, we're just on yellow health, so we can use this patch right now. That'll top me off. Then go back out, get, get that loot from just outside, and then we can start exploring... Now I need to be more careful with my exploration because I, I, I can very easily get lost. Let's put the flare gun away. And let's save. We're in exploration mode, baby. Yeah, the note, the note says we should leave. What is up with this place? Why is Silent Hill down here? Oh shit. Stop being angry. Yeah, I forgot there was a room between me and this this room, the museum room, whatever you want to call this. We need the doll, almost certainly. We'll need that for a puzzle. Maybe I should take the revolver, actually, because they're giving me ammo for it, and I've I've stocked up a fair bit. Like that's a bunch, because we can be using that and potentially even like popping zombos in the head and just knocking them down with it. Might be a good idea. Because part of me, you know, wants to. Wants to hoard and save it for potential bosses, but I don't know. I mean, we could save the shotgun for potential bosses. Why not? Okay, put that away. And we're being we're dealing with more enemies frequently as well. Doll, a large hollow wooden doll that can be opened. It has hexagonal base. It's empty inside. Okay, so we'll need to put something into that. We'll put that into something, probably. Let's get the revolver out, why don't we? Um, got plenty of ammo for it, and I guess this stack can hold more. I guess we'll leave it as is. That leaves us with 11 shots, which is worth way more than 10, uh, 10 regular pistol shots. 
I guess we'll put the pride away as well, because I'm not really using those. Save again! ABS, always be saving. We're nowhere! Oh, fuck. We're in the classroom, in nowhere. This fucking Silent Hill ass shit. Oh, God. We went from, like, a... Uh, your know, RE-esque complexes to just Silent Hill. <laughs> I'm not complaining. Oh, no! Speaking of Silent Hill, mystery pulsating flesh pit! My favorite- Oh, we can jump down the mystery pulsating flesh pit. Great! Oh, no. I don't want to enter this sphincter. This is horrible. And there's doors everywhere. Locks from the other side. Let's clear out this floor before we jump down any mystery holes. What is this? An old-fashioned microphone is ho uh, microphone's hooked up to the device. Huh. And then there's this on the screen. There's a strange device under the glass bell. It's hooked up to the microphone. Okay, so we'll have to find a signal to use here, I guess. Those are freaky. What's this? <gasps> oh, what? 16 millimeter anti panzer nitro express what is that for the rifle that that uh, the adler had holy fuck i'm taking that large caliber ca large caliber ptfe coated high power armor piercing 16 millimeter nitro express rifle ammunition packs a punch yeah, I imagine, with a name like that. Good god. Alright, yeah. So I guess we're fine using the revolver for regular enemies, and then we can use the anti-panzer ammo <laughs> on uh, on the bigger enemies. No space for repair spray. Frick. Oh, but I, I picked up my patch and didn't use it, so I can take the repair spray. <laughs> Get owned, inventory management. I am your master. Okay, back we go to the save room. We're making trips. We're doing research. We're gathering resources. This is important. Love to survive. Put that away. Put the rifle ammo away. Jesus Christ. God, that's so cool. Should I put... Maybe I should put the revolver ammo away. Just for now. While I'm exploring. And I've actually got to equip the revolver. That would be helpful, wouldn't it? Dear me. Obviously, I haven't fired it yet, so I don't know how good it is. Let's use it now. Since we kind of... We, we're going to be going through here. Okay, yeah. One or two shots is uh, pretty good. Obviously, they could get back up again at any time. But that's put them down for now, at least. Okay. We could thermite them. We've got one left over. Maybe. I think I'm going to hold on to that. Like, what if there's a shield enemy in a really bad place? I would rather save a thermite for then. And we've got the flare gun as well, so we can flare two additional things on top of the thermite. So, three total. Oh, wait! Oh, wait! Hexagonal base on the large wooden doll. Did the plate of eternity combine with that? Wait a minute. This thing we picked up ages ago? No. Okay. But hex hexagons! Hexagons! Maybe they'll come up in the same puzzle later on. Okay, need my revolve ammo. Yeah, just fill me up. Enough to reload me. Okay, and then I guess put the rest away. I guess we should we should put I, I'm gonna put some of it away and hold on to the rest. Maybe that'll mean more trips, but also, you know. I might run into a lot of enemies. I don't know. Need a key to open it. Just a regular key. Not a key card. A key. Because we're in Silent Hill now. Okay, that's locked. Do we not have a map? We still don't have a map. A map would be really useful, you know. Right, but that's everything we can do up here. We checked that room and cleared it out. All right. Down into the mystery flash pit. Let's go. The gaping... Wait. No. I need to... I need to read that again. Pardon? What did you say? There's a gaping hole in the pulsing flesh. Drop down? Question mark? Yes. 
<laughs> what a prompt. Hmm? Uh-oh. Ooh. Uh-oh. Is that a boss? Oh, look at that! Oh, we're in the room with the thing. Oh, this is a boss fight. I don't know if we have enough ammo for this. I hope we do. Should have brought the shotgun. At least it gets staggered easy. This is a fucking Silent Hill boss, though. Back off. Mr. Shot. Okay, we might not have enough ammo for this. I should have figured this was a boss. The, the, the gaping flesh hole would lead to a boss. Okay, we're out of ammo. Uh, we don't have anything else. Uh, can we whack it? We can push it, but we're probably gonna die. Push it real good. I don't, yeah, I don't think this is gonna work out for us. Yeah. But you see, that's why you save regularly, because then you can jump into strange, mysterious flesh holes. And if you end up getting killed by like a, a Silent Hill fetish cage, then you know that's that's fine. You can you can do that. That's life. We roll with the punches, the many punches that the many armed Silent Hill monstrosity has or does. Okay, right. Well, now we know. Now we know. Uh, I guess we can. Well, we want the revolver and we want the sh I guess the shotgun. Let's take all the revolver ammo. Do we want the flare gun? Maybe. Yeah, take all the revolver ammo we can carry. And we've still got more left over. I guess we can ditch the flashlight. If we're we're just going max capacity. We'll take the shotgun rounds. That leaves us with one extra slot. So we could take the pistol or we could take the auto injector. Cause when else when else are we gonna use the auto injectors? Okay, let's take those. Equip the auto injectors. Oh, the pistol. Oh, and my health is bad, too. Oh, shit. Okay, I need to use a patch first, then. Uh, put these away again. Hold on. Use a patch, and then I'll inventory manage, and hopefully that'll heal me while I'm working on that. Okay. So we'll take the injectors. More health. And, yeah, start... I guess start with the shotgun. Because I guess this is our boss damage weapon for now. Until we get the Nitro Express. But, um, yeah, I'd rather save revolver ammo for regular goons, if possible. So the more damage done with the shotgun, the better. Yeah, health is back to normal. Equip the auto-injector. Let's save. I'm ready. Prepared. Let's fucking go. But yeah, I appreciate that, you know, you can just go and get yourself fucking killed by a boss. And it just doesn't, it doesn't throw supplies at you either. That's not not a complaint. Like I remember when I was playing RE2, whenever you end up in a boss fight or encounter, they you know they give you stuff. They give you ammo and herbs in the boss rooms, pretty much always. Um, this no, I mean the, the the only other boss we've seen did have had a boss a, a very obvious boss fountain before it, and a bunch of stuff in the room. But uh, this one not so. This one not so. Let's go down the gaping hole in the pulsing flesh. Yes, yes. Do we have to, we have to watch this every time? Oh well, it does look good. This is not the worst. I get to appreciate some art before my boss fight. Hey, fuck off you. Well, that stag is real good. Oh, well maybe not. Oh god. Okay, that knocked it down. It really didn't like that. We okay. We it's still flailing and, and hurting. Load. Ah! God damn it, I'm gonna die. Well, we got the auto injectors on. Fuck! Yeah, there goes the injector. Are we. We're out of shots. Okay. Over to the revolver. Back off. Oh god, I got, I got caught in a corner. Oh no! Reload. Ooh, okay, we can circle around these. Or at least that one. 
How much health you got, you fucking thing? Oh, she's aiming! She's aiming! Take a shot! Ooh! Oh, did we just need to get her to line up for the kill shot? Is she dead? She's got the, the, the rifle. This is some Silent Hill ass music. You hear this shit? Akira Yamaoka, are you listening? Oh, is she, is she alive? Is she dead? We gotta save room. She won't wake up, but she's not dead. Okay, okay. Um. Oh, thermite flares. Ooh, 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 ooh. And 10 mil ammo. Nice. Okay, let's put that away. I want the rifle, though. Yeah. Put those away. Presumably that means they're gonna want me to use thermite again soon. It's frightening. We only need the one auto injector. Our health is not great. But that's okay for now. We'll hold off. Uh, that's a door there. Rifle? The rifle I Isa was carrying. It's chambered in some sort of ridiculous anti-armor cartridge. It is ridiculous, isn't it? No wonder the recoil, recoil knocked her out. I guess we can't take it? Rather not take any of your belongings without permission. Oh, that's fair. I'm glad they have an extra bit of dialogue for that. Okay, so we can't take that yet. Uh, we've got one patch. I guess we'll hold off and you know try and use a repair spray if we take more damage. Anything else? Oh yeah, take the flashlight. Um, I guess we'll take... I will take two thermites with me. Because maybe we'll need them. We still need... We need to get the lay of the land again. Because now we're in a new area. But yeah, I don't... I don't... I wonder if we actually needed to do any of that damage. I think it might have just been all about distracting the boss for long enough so that Isa would f fire the shot. Okay. Another one of those. Still no map, right? Yeah, still no map. Good. Off I go, then. Ooh, what the fuck are you? Silent Hill enemy. Stop! Get back. Get back. I just want that loot. There's a door there. I've... Th this, this is an enemy I should thermite, probably. This is an enemy I don't even want to fight. Okay, I'm gonna shoot you and thermite you. And hopefully do it without aggravating him too much. Okay, okay. Use. Okay, go. Get out. Go, go, go. Okay, this is stairs back up. That's good. That's good. I've opened up a valuable place. Oh, signal flare shells. Nice. I, gotta, I could just be using those on enemies too, but this is fine. Right, where does this go? Oh, good. Just fleshy tubes everywhere. Inventory's full also. Unlock the door. Ah, this will lead back around to somewhere we've been. Yeah! And, oh, there was this here too, which I never got. There we go. Another patch. Okay, so... This is all the place we've been. So we can go back. Let's go back to the save room. Drop off our goodies. Uh, yeah, I can pick that up. That's why I hold, That's why I carry them around. So that I have a stack that more of those can go into. Oh, God. Oh, it's screeching at me. Stop existing, please. All right, put the patches away. Um, put the flare shells away. I guess put the, maybe put the thermite away. I kind of, you know, I want the, I want the inventory slots because we're searching, but also it'll be useful to use thermites to clear out routes that we're gonna want to go back and forth down. Well, let's let's check out what's down here. Oh, this is the boss fight room. Okay, got it. Right, right, right. And up is locked. Okay, okay. So, let's see if we can't get past... Past Nerdneck over here. Why is he in the wall? Ugh. It's not really his, his neck, it's his face. Why is your face like that? Why are you such a freak? What's wrong with your face? Right, can we sneak past? Yes, we can. Gaming prod! Let's go. That's gonna fill up a slot, but we might, we might use it. 
Is that ammo? Oh, we've seen something like this before. Oh, Regent's Ring. Uh, do we want to... Do we... Mm, what do we want to do? Goddamn inventory management. I should go put the flashlight away. That's what I should do. Hmm. Let's have a look around. That's locked. Maybe we can pick up something else. Oh, this seems important. Let's do this. And this we need the flashlight for. Or the flashlight is helpful for, at least. I hear Silent Hill sounds. There's health in there. You hear those Silent Hill sounds? It doesn't sound good. Oh, there's something here, too. There's, like, multiple rewards in this maze. A rusted key. Oh, we know where that goes. Yes. Give me that. And the rest we can't take. Uh, we'll be back. Yeah, I need to put shit away. The flashlight is useful, though. I should maybe keep that. God damn. Why? There's still no explanation as for why we're in Silent Hill. Who the fuck knows? When I mean, yeah, going that way, we can just run past him. Because he's dumb. <laughs> okay, let's store the thermite, store the prod, keep the flashlight, put the key away for a moment. But I think the key will be the next thing we do. Because we know where that goes. But for now, let's just get everything out of that maze. You coming down this way? Yeah, you are. Are you? Make up your mind. Okay, thank you. Thank you for being decisive. Unlike me. Yeah, let's take the ring. That's going to be important. Definitely going to be important. The ammo is secondary priority. Now, that, that looks important, so we need to get that. And not get caught in monowire. Monowire will, will kill you and everyone you love. Monowire lives to destroy. Monowire knows only hatred. No love. Monowire has never loved. Oh my god. Another one? Can I pick that up? Or is that a used one? Is it? Oh, no, it wasn't. Okay. I thought it was supposed to imply people had come through here and had to use a bunch of repair spray. Because they kept running into Monowire. Hello, Virtual. Hello, hello. I'm just trying not to die. That's completely blocked off. I think that's, that is, that is a trick. As a jape. Ooh, a plate of flesh! It's been so long since we've seen a plate. Gimme, gimme. Sending a signalis? Good, thank you. This game, I mean, I guess it is, the game is technically terrifying. Ooh, could sneak around there. But there's still no way to get into that jape first aid, right? Yeah, that is just mono-wired off. There's no way in there. But yeah, this game's absolutely fantastic. I was saying, well, I was saying last time and saying earlier that uh, it, it, it took me all of about an hour or two of playing this game for it to be one of my Game of the Year contenders. It's just so fucking good. Lots of meat. Robot feels uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah. We kind of, um, well, we went, we went down an elevator and then we went down another elevator and then we went down a, a rock pit and then things got kind of silent hilly and then we went down a flesh pit, a pulsating flesh pit. And now we're here and I, I don't understand how or why, uh, but this is the way things are. Okay, Regent's Ring. A ring cut from black marble. Phrase, this too shall pass, is inscribed on the inside of the ring. Oh, it's my favorite story. I, don't, I, can't, I can never remember what the, uh, the origin of that is. But this, that is actually a, a tale that I have used to make myself feel better on the regular. It's a good one. Yeah, you know, it's like, I, I can't remember exactly how it goes. But there's like a king, and he's given... He has a ring that makes him, like, a fair and wise ruler. It makes it so that... It, it makes it so that when he, when he's happy, he becomes sad, and when he's sad, he becomes happy. And it's just a ring, and it's inscribed with the phrase, This too shall pass. It's a great story. It's, it, it's just... It passes... It's a reminder that all things are impermanent. 
So, you know, if things are good, don't get too cocky. This too shall pass. But if you're in a shit situation, all things are temporary. This too shall pass. You'll be all right. It's, it's very good to remember. I love that story. I'm glad it's in this game. <laughs> okay, let's put the ring away. And the flesh, the plate of flesh. Will that combine with our, um, our doll? Because we have the plate of eternity. I, they're all going to come up in some puzzle, surely. No, those don't combine. Got it. And put the repair spray away. All right, let's save because we got some shit. But we need to go back and get some ammo. Uh, the ammo that was lying around there. Yes, I should have maybe waited for that save, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We'll go back out. We'll get that ammo, bring it back here. Then we'll go use the rusted key. That's our, our best lead right now. Let me out! Thank you. I'm just passing by. Well, oh, maybe he doesn't care about sound. Because I just sprinted past him. The regular enemies would have gotten upset about that. Hmm. Okay, shotgun rounds. Uh, that's blocked off. Right, so this is... Now, now this is a dead end. There's no reason to come back here. Unless we find a way to cut Mono Wyatt. In which case we can get another first aid spray. But otherwise, no. So I think, yeah, up there is the ladder. So that's where we're going to want to go with the key. Okay. Put the shotgun rounds away. Do we want to bring anything else up with us aside from the key? Nice all the important items get sorted to the right, too. So we need the rusted key. Uh, I guess I should, um... Uh, I should, I should take a revolver ammo so that I can reload that one shot I'm missing. There you go. Even though she ejected all the, um, all the casings there, they were not all ejected. Inaccurate. Can't believe you would do this game. Okay. So yeah, we'll just go forward with this. Let's save. This is the time where I should have saved. No, don't save in file two. No! Fuck, whatever. No, actually, that bothers me. I don't like that. Save, save and file one. My brain. I don't, no, don't, I just misclicked. There you go. Now I've got a stray save data. I'm going to have to delete that. Damn it. I've been especially uh, mentally aware of save data space recently because I was, um, when I got, well, I was doing it um, yesterday as well with the PS3, actually. But I was looking through uh, my PS2 memory cards and seeing everything that was on there. And I was reminded of some games I forgot I even had. Uh, apparently I had Ratchet and Clank 2. At some point, I'm not sure. Oh, Assassin, your version of the story. A good king, but he was either too happy or too sad. A wizard told him he'd give a, mag a magic ring to the king. The magic uh, worked, and the king was too happy or sad. His mood would quickly reach calmness. With that ring, the king ruled for many years. When the king's ring was examined, the ring was found to just be an engraved ring. With the words, this too shall pass. Yeah, that's exactly it. That's how the story goes. Uh, and it's really good. It's a good one to remember. Like, no matter how you're feeling, it is good to remember that all things are impermanent you know don't wallow in sadness because things are bad at the moment but also don't become too content just because just because things are okay right now right now i've got to find that door that takes the key again oh fuck me this is another button thing we don't need that we're gonna need the photo module at some point for um, taking pictures of codes, probably. Okay, not here. This leads back to here. Was it in here? You've gotten up again. Yeah, they've both gotten up again. There we go. Rest of the key. I'm, no, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I don't want to be here. Ooh, goodies. A wooden doll. Nice. Grenade shells? How many weapons are we gonna get? What the fuck? Okay, we don't need grenade shells right now. What's this? Yeah, I'll take I'll take revolver ammo. Why not? Grenade shell. I'll hold off because maybe I'll get something important, and then I'd have to, you know, go, it, you know, gotta be not a kleptomaniac. Yeah. 
be easily open to fit a smaller doll inside. Do we need to combine that with the other doll, maybe? We got a Matryoshka situation going on. Okay, this is a dead end, and there's the code door, so I'm going to take this grenade. Okay, so where are we going to go from here, actually? Um, maybe something with the dolls, maybe something with the ring? Because we don't have a map now, which is really, uh, really troublesome. Well, there's a safe room right here, so we can just do stuff from here. If we could find any of the codes for these doors, we could maybe make some progress, but I don't think we've seen anything that would uh, indicate those. Unless that note in this room is one of those. Oh, designed to be fired from a flare gun! Oh, <coughs> oh god. Mm. Okay, right. So the, the flare gun is this game's equivalent of the grenade launcher. I getcha, I getcha. Okay, I have to think about where I would want to use that. Okay, can we combine the dolls? They are different sizes. Yes! I have a combined doll. Okay. I guess we probably need more doll, but we can put that away. That's efficiency. Just combine your dolls together. Put that away. Alright. So we don't have anything for the Regent's Ring. We don't have anything for the plates. Hmm. Now, when we looked at... Like, that has squares on it, but I don't think that's anything... Oh, wait. What if it... Huh. What... Mm. What if this isn't just a threatening message? What if this is something to do with the code doors? Oh, Rika, hello! Thank you for the raid! Let me give you a shout-out real quick. Um, thank you for coming. I hope you had a good stream. Uh, da -da -da. We do... Gotta do both the commands. Both the shout-outs. There we go. Go and what's that? Oh, playing some Dwarf Fort. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. We were just talking about that not too long ago. I hope you had a good time. I hope your dwarves didn't die. I hope you didn't strike out of man time. Um, but yes, I hope you had a good time. Uh, we're just playing some Signalis. Uh, this game, well, one, this game is really good. Uh, but two, it, it has taken a turn. It has taken a turn from. Silent Hill with a, a, a smidgen of no, no res, like Resident Evil Silent Hill hybrid to extremely Silent Hill. We are just in Silent Hill now. No deaths just yet. Oh, nice, perfect, perfect, perfect. See, I don't, I don't know if that note perhaps corresponds to this door. Leave this place. I don't, I don't know how it could. Hmm. I got no ideas there. Like, it could be a threatening message, but also the way it's written feels too specific to just be a threatening message. What if it's a hint? What is it, What does it represent? Hmm. I don't know how we could write leave this place on any of these keypads, though, because it's just a 3x3. Three three. Hmm. Yeah, we got, like, as far as I recall, nothing in the inventory or in the box that we would want to use for any puzzle-related purposes. Game reminds you of old school Resident Evil. It is really similar to that. It's got a lot of, it's got a lot of RE, because it's got the kind of, like, you want to, I, I guess Silent Hill has a bit of this too, where you, you, you shoot enemies to knock them down, conserve ammo, and then bash them in the head. To put them, not even put them down permanently, just put them down for longer. Um, it's all about you. It, it's all about exploring these environments and going back and forth, and solving the puzzles that uh, that the entire area consists of, basically, while conserving your resources and not dying. Uh, it's absolutely fantastic, and it's on Game Pass. It, you should play this game if you have Game Pass. It's so good. But I am stumped now because this area doesn't have a map for some reason. I, I guess because it doesn't make any sense from a spatial perspective. Um, but it kind of leaves me stumped. Uh, I hope I'm not going to have to use a walkthrough. I had to earlier just to find one thing that set me back on the path. But not having a map, it, just, it really hurts. Yeah, I don't think we can... I, I don't think we have the solution for this yet. Or any of these doors. There's a few of these lying around. Um, I don't, I, I don't know what we could do with, like, the ring or anything. We haven't seen anything that the ring could interact with. I might have to look it up again.
yeah, I'm going to look at the walkthrough. I have no idea. It's at least been a while. Um, keypad door, the triangle single, sim, sim, uh, symbol, large wooden doll, shaft, the microphone. Turn on and turn your radio frequencies to find the keypad combination for the associated patterns. Okay, right, got it. That's how you're supposed to do it. Yeah, I forgot about that room. There's a room with a, a microphone and a keypad, and we've got a radio. Okay, okay, we've got to go find that room again then. Let's save. I don't- did I already save here? I don't remember. It doesn't matter. It's not like we have ink ribbons or anything. Okay, so it was- uh, it was around here somewhere, because it was the earlier part of this area. Because up there is the flash room, that's the key room, so it must be... down this way somewhere. Yeah, we gotta sneak where we can. Because we've got the revolver now. We got that earlier today. Um, and it does big damage, but obviously I still want to conserve ammo where possible. If we don't need to shoot a gun, I will not shoot a gun. Oh, and this puts us back here, which we could loop back around to the other way. So, over here? Yeah, this is back where we started. Can go in this room. Right, this is the offering table, which we can't do anything with. Oh, but there is a, the, the auto-injector. Sick. Nice. Yeah, we've still got nothing for the offering. And then this is just the way out, so this isn't it. Where the hell is that room? Fuck. Yeah, nothing nothing in here. Just death. Hmm. Yeah, that is locked. That's the triangle room. But yeah. Um If we yeah, when we do find the radio room again, the microphone room. We should be able to get the codes for all of these doors. I don't know if we'll have any identifier as to which code goes to which door. Oh, no, wait. We, yeah, no, we totally will, actually. But we're just going to have to search through all the uh, frequencies. So, oh, is it in here? Wait a minute. Oh, we haven't been in here. Oh, shit. It's a new room. A small bottle. Ooh, is that going to be for the offering room? Let's have a look. Filled with clear liquid. Contents smell sharply of ammonia. Hmm, I don't think so then. Because it wanted, like, herbs or spices. Oh wait, no! Probably some sort of smelling salts. An inhalant sometimes used to help restore consciousness and mental alertness. Oh, we can go wait, wake up Isa, or whatever her name is. We can go wake her up and she can give me the rifle. Uh-oh. The Dreamer. A prison from which the only escape is death. Deep below, the Dreamer floats in the sea of flesh. Oh, good. The red eye birthing a new world from their dream for eternity. And each time the dreamer turns over in their sleep, the world turns over too. Till only flesh remains. Oh, this is some Lovecraft shit. Because the, the, that, that's the whole thing in Lovecraft mythos. Is the, the entire universe exists within the dream of some horrendous entity. I don't remember its name. Um, but yeah, when it, when it wakes up, the universe ends. I remember that. Hmm. Hey, nothing else in here. But salt's important, probably. I thought that would maybe be for the offering, but no, I think it's to wake up Isaac. But where the fuck is the room I'm looking for? It's not... This is the save room. It's not here. Yeah, it's not here. That's locked. Wish I had a fucking map! God damn it! Maybe up here? Let me in! Let me in! Fuck! Bastard game. Right, now I'm gonna have to use a spray. Well, whenever I get back to a save room. I'll use a regular spray, not a spray plus. Yeah, this room! Here you fucking go. Oh, there's a spray! Oh, there you go. It's almost as if I planned it. There you go. Uh, and that has only put me up to yellow for now, but I think those heal over time. Oh! Oh my god, I nearly missed that. Wedding ring. Jesus Christ. That's a bit of a pixel hunt item. An old golden ring. The phrase, till death do us part, is inscribed on the inside of the ring. Alright, we got rings. Rings are happening. What was this? Oh, that was more Nitro Express ammo, which we didn't take. Okay. So, this thing. We need to find radio stations. Been a minute since we used the radio. Okay, let's find where signals are strongest, I guess. 
or, or oh no, wherever we are getting signal. Okay. Okay. Right. Uh, I should have brought the camera for this since I'm not doing screenshots anymore. Hold on. Turn that off. Turn that off. Okay, let's go back. Go back. And we can drop off all this shit to pick up the Nitro Express when we come back here too. Okay, okay, okay. Stop being rude! That's rude! Man, don't be rude. We're still on yellow, but that's fine. Put the bottle away, put the ring away. Why am I holding an... Oh yeah, because I picked up the auto injector. It just gets sorted like that. Okay, we'll take the photo module. That's what we need. And uh, nothing else, right? Yeah, we're just looking for codes. Alright, let's go. Once we get all these codes, I'll be opening one million doors. I appreciate stealth in games like this. Always so nice. Okay, so, radio back on. So, we'll in interact with the damn thing. Okay, so that's the alumniscuit. Let's equip this. I love this mechanic, by the way. You just have a camera that you can that you can carry six photos, and you can just take photos of things. Okay, so that's a lemniscuit. Okay, exit out. Now let's switch to the next signal. I, can, I always press the wrong buttons with the receiver. Okay. Okay, so that is a distinct signal. It's kind of pulsing in and out. Is that just because it's a distant signal, or...? I think maybe just because we're between two signals there. So... Aha. Okay, so that's the regular... Well, the irregular triangle, I guess you would call it. Oh no, I don't need to do that. Just do it like this. Okay. I'm just... I'm trying to take the photo at a time where the, the image is actually well visible, but it's not. Oh well, it's fine. So that's one, because we've not we've not seen a Lemniscuit door yet, or a Mobius strip door, whatever it's going to be. That's that signal goes on for a while, seemingly. Then it flickers again, and then it's a strong signal here at 120. That oh yeah, that one we've seen the uh, the square one. Okay, that'll have to do. That indicates a square well enough, right? Okay. I love doing this. Like, puzzle busy work. It's cool. Like, the, the all the decoding we were doing last time. So cool. Okay, this is a new signal. Oh, that's the, uh, the Pentagon. Okay. I guess that in indicates it well enough. Sure. At least I've got pictures of all the keypad codes. That's the important thing. Nope. So bad with the con No, I'm so bad with the controls. Right. Okay, then that's a signal. That That is for a very complex shape that I will not even try to assign a name to. I, I simply don't know. So I think one of the pixels on the display is stuck. Do you see that? It's weird. Okay, that'll do. Okay, are there any other signals? Or is that all of them? Oh, I think that's one more at the end here. Yeah, yeah. Ah, that's the, uh, the spiky looking one. Yeah. There we go. Good picture. Okay. Okay. That's all our signals. Right. Let's go try a shitload of doors and pick up this Nitro Express. Nice. It really is a good thing that, you know, the, the ring is so small, but that is the best place to put it. In a room where you really need to go back to. 
Okay, so let's uh, let's save. Now that I've got all those pictures, I don't want to lose those. Okay. All right, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. This is this is the spiky shape. I think that's the last one we took. So don't accidentally take a photo. But yeah, that's this one. So top left and then a box. Nice. We are schmoving now. Oh god, it's pulsing. Oh! You can just see its eyes. Uh oh. No, don't, no, I thought I had the flashlight on. No, I don't. That's fine, that's fine. Okay. The Empress's hand. Oh god. Yeah, these read from right to left. It's like, hmm. it, it, it's like, I mean, all the text has been translated from German, pretty much. But this reads like it's written, like, traditionally in Japanese. Or maybe, hmm, might be. Uh, Empress, on the first day, she was crowned. On the longest day, nothing was done. On the next day, she was wed. On the last day, she took her life. Oh. It's uh, Solomon Grundy. Well, that's that's quite sad. What's this? Oh, what is that? Oh, God. Some 10 mil. Uh, inventory's nearly full, but I, it, this looks like a dead end, so I'll probably take that. Oh, God. Oh, rings! Rings. Rings, rings, rings. Rings. Got it. Thanks for the ammo. Yes, rings. Ring puzzle. Ring puzzle. I think we'll probably need more rings. Because we've got a we've got a wedding ring. So on the next day she was wed. That must be the wedding ring. What about the um the this two shall pass ring? Is that the nothing nothing was done ring? Hmm. Well, I think we need more rings, first of all, so I think we should go check out the other doors first. Would you care to fuck off? Why you got such wide hips, you weird robot zombie? Why am I paying attention to that? They're, they're just fucking turning into bobblehead nurses. Okay. Well, we are... We could get the rings, like, right now, but, uh... I think we should check the other doors first. Just to get more rings. We definitely need more. Yeah, we can think about exactly which ring goes where. After. Okay, let's go check... Let's save, and then check for more doors. We've seen them around, I just need to search the whole place again, now that I've got all the codes. Honestly, I should have gotten the codes straight away, because I, I recognized it at a microphone. I just thought maybe there'd be more to the puzzle um, before I'd have to do uh, this stuff. Okay, that, yeah, this is the, this room that we checked. I just want to, uh, we'll go from the start, I guess. Check and see if there's any keypad doors around here. Oh shit, that's fine. It's fine, don't worry about it. Yep, there's one here. This is the triangle. Alright, triangle, triangle, triangle. I think that might be the first one we took. Triangle, that's triangle. Okay, no, Lemniscuit was the first one we took, triangle. So a little um, Conway's Game of Life spaceship, got it. Got it, got it, got it. Nice. Oh no, not nice. Horrible, actually. Um, do I don't... That's... That's flare ammo. Which I'm not desperate for. That shotgun... Oh god. Uh, that looks like it'll be something important, though. Hmm. Let's have a look around before we decide on anything there. Oh shit. Oh no. That one you've got to like memorize the layout so as to not aggro fucking everything. Okay, where's the miner gonna go? Up. I want to kind of swoosh, swoosh right in here and then run out to the right. Watch me swoosh right in. Oh, small wooden doll. No, get me out. Oh fuck. It's Angie. Oh my. 
Go, 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 go. 187. Oh, shit. That's bad. Okay, we need to get the fuck out. Uh, we can't be doing that while there's bad stuff going on. No, 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 no. Stuck my fucking radio on, you piece of shit. Okay, health is bad. Let's, um... We could, we could go back to a safe room. We should see if we can get the rifle, actually, because we can get to that from here. And then we'll, we'll, we'll get some R&R &R as well. God, this place is terrifying. Okay, well, well, let's combine our dolls again. Consolidate. Consolidate. Lamau, Lamau, Lamau. And this is like the smallest doll. Oh, and it's cute! It looks like the robot! The robot ladies. Ah, Cute little robot doll. Surprisingly heavy. Oh, that's rude. Okay, I have a complete doll. For something, at some point. Okay, put that away. Get the smelling salts. Wake up, girl. Hey! Use the bottle. Up you get. You only shot the gun once. Don't get all conked the fuck out from it. Ugh. Ah, it's you. Elster, right? Thank you for your help. Did you find who you were looking for yet? No. Ah, that rifle. I don't think I want to use it again. <laughs> you can have it. Let's fucking go. So exhausted. I feel sick. I'll just exhaust your dialogue, then I'll take it. It's hard to breathe. I mean, yeah, this place is just flesh. The air in this place feels thick. Like a bite it. Oh, Gross. It's like there's a fog inside my head. I know that one. I think I need a moment to rest. Alright. Well, thank you for the fucking rifle. Hell yeah. Let's load this bad boy. Just to see it loaded. Oh no, it's already loaded! Cringe. Even though she didn't reload it after she shot it, she got fucking knocked out. Why is it fully loaded? Doesn't make any sense. Anyway. A large bore double barrel hunting rifle. Fires armor piercing 16mm Nitro Express ammunition. The recoil feels strong enough to break your shoulder. Fuck yeah. Hell yeah. I'm gonna put that away, though. Uh, I need a repair spray, please. I'll put. Uh, no, we need the photo module. Yeah, repair me up. Repair me up. Yum. Yum, 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 yum. I don't know if that'll put me up to full, because it always sa it says, like, you know, the repair spray plus, why I've been, why I keep those on me, even though I've never used one, is because they're supposed to be instant heals, but less. Whereas the, uh, the other, because, you know, you combine a spray into a spray plus with a spray patch. So it should presumably heal me more over the time on top of the instant heal, I suppose. Okay. Uh, oh, this is a code. Yeah, that's the Pentagon. Let's do that right now. Pentagon, Pentagon. Pentagon, Pentagon. That one. This one, I think. It's another Conway's Game of Life creature. Probably. I think I've seen that one before. Nice. Also, Conway's Game of Life is really cool. You should look it up if you don't already know about it. It's neat. It's just very... Very simple code, like code, coded rules to make little uh, a little um, environment full of rudimentary simulated life forms that have all sorts of different behaviors. And people do insane shit with it. I've seen people like make calculators and clocks just using Conway's Game of Life. It's whack. I love it. Okay, this is a bad place. Ah, shit. Tried my tried my luck there. I'm out of ammo. I'm out of space! Ah, oh, not out of ammo. I could do with that patch now. Oh, what the fuck am I looking at? Oh, a plate. A plate of balance. Okay. This place is terrifying. We're gonna need to come back to that plate of balance. And that patch, I guess. Okay, coming through, coming through. Nothing else in here it doesn't look like, no. Let's ditch all that ammo we can't use. 
I guess I'll I'll use the patch that I pick up in there. And we need the plate as well, so we are we are gonna have to do a full run through again. Right, come on, come over here, dipshits. There we go. I do really like the AI in this game. Like they feel like monsters, but they're not just walking at you and doing nothing else. Like they'll stop and occasionally slow down and they they see that yeah, they still seem a bit dumb, but in in an in, in intentional way. Uh-oh. That's not good. Am I gonna be a Jill sandwich? Oh no, I am a Jill sandwich. But we can we can put another plate here, couldn't we? Shit. Okay. Well we don't need any of these plates right now, so I should just put this back. Yeah, put that there. So we could take another plate and put it here. Maybe one of them we won't actually end up needing at all. But I have no idea which, so we'll just leave it as is for now. We come we can come back for our plate later. I really wish I had a map. Have I made that clear enough yet? Let's save. There we go. This area would be so much easier if if only there were a map. Alright, off we go. So where haven't we been yet? Uh, we've cleared all the way to the right here. That's all done. As far as I'm aware. We got rings to hand in, but I, th I still think we need more rings, so we're not doing that yet. We just need to keep looking for more rooms to go in. Yeah, this is what we just opened up, and this we haven't done yet. Oh, Christ almighty. Could we, could we refresh this room, please? I don't like it here. No? Well, if you're just going to walk past, I'm okay with that. Yeah, okay, thank you. So the left and the right, we haven't really fully checked. Yeah, this room is full of darkness and evil things. You can see their eyes a little bit. Fuck! Uh oh, I've got the camera on. Oh no, I'm going to die. Uh, Let's just put this on so we can see what we're looking at. So I might die, but that could be okay. I shouldn't have done that. Oh no. Just what what is here? Is that a ring? It's a serpent ring. Okay. All right. So we need the serpent ring from here. The ammo we can do without. Now we know. That was research. That was science that I just did. Me getting the shit kicked out of me and panicking with the controls. That was uh, part of the scientific process actually. And uh, if you disagree, you're anti-science actually. So uh, get owned. I'm not open to criticism. Right, back we go. But yeah, we want the serpent ring. What would the serpent ring represent from the, the riddle? I don't know. The only one that is clear is the marriage ring. Hmm. And I I don't know if it's three or four rings we need for the puzzle. I think it might be four. Okay, but now we know. We can walk pretty much straight up to the serpent ring unmolested without turning the flashlight on. Past that, we're going to bump into something. So, let us remember to equip the flashlight before we do this. Take that. Go, 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 go. Fuck. No, 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 no. Fucking menus appearing. Don't need that in my life, thank you very much. Now I'm going to go check the other side. I don't remember what was over here. I think it was more badness. Oh, yeah! Nine, one, nine, uh, 197, 197. 197, there it is. Okay. I'm gonna have to bypass these fucks. Fucks! This isn't good. This isn't good. The, the code's changed. I'm gonna die again. Oh, no. All's not well. I need better stuff for this. Maybe this would be a time to use the rifle, actually. Hey, how about you kill me and we'll, yeah, we'll redo this. Thanks. I'll just perish. Okay, okay. So, change of plan. We're going to panic less. Uh, I guess we'll go get the serpent ring again. But we'll, uh... Yeah, we'll get the serpent ring again. We'll go back in there. I'll take the rifle with me. 
Uh, we're still gonna want the pistol, though. Um, yeah, that will that will leave us with a full inventory unless I put the photo module away temporarily just to clear this place out. Seems like it might be a good idea. Let's take the rifle. Okay. Wait, do we need anything else? Oh yeah, we need a spot for the serpent ring, so it would be nice to have an additional inventory slot just for taking anything that comes from there. So, let's save again, so I don't have to change my inventory. Okay. Thank you. Okay, let's go. And... I guess we'll equip the rifle. Oh, this thing's so cool. I love... I, any break action weapon is sick, but... Rifles are fantastic. Fuck yeah. I just love cool guns. This game's got a good selection. Got like regular pistol, you got a, a snub nose revolver, a flare gun, rifle, nice shotgun. Uh, it's a very it's a good it's a good survival horror loadout. Kinda got all the bases covered. Right, so up this way. And I've gotta equip the flashlight too for when we get the serpent uh, ring. We get the easy way there. Yes, please, thank you. Okay, this time, let's see if we can take no damage and not, you know, fumble with the controls. Fuck! I got hit, but I didn't fumble with the controls, so that's something. Okay, off you go. Or am I, mm, I might have to just circle around. I don't think this one will get aggroed, because it's facing the other way. It's Blair Witch in it. Okay, can you fuck off, miner? Oh no, he's... The mine is fucking on. I gotta go around. Doing the exact opposite of what I want. That's fine. I'm a patient survival horror gamer. I can handle it. We learn. We learn. We learn, we grow, we thrive. King shit. Okay. God damn. Yeah, that just fucking pops him. Uh. Hmm. I guess I should, I guess I should use this because I need to figure out which one's the real one and revolve with them. Sturb. I missed. I missed because of fucking Sturb. Well, this is bad. Okay, what was the code again? Code, please. Sturb. Uh, don't Sturb. 183, 183, 183. 183, 183. One, eight, three. Okay, which one of you is real? It's you. There you go. All right, now I understand how to figure out which one is the real one just by looking at them. I get it now. Inventory is full. Oh. A free re repair spray. Good. Okay. We, we don't have any space, so let's just go back. You know, as much as I want to reap the rewards of having cleared this place out, I don't have any inventory space. Hmm. Dare I? Because we've got shotgun rounds. That's more shotgun... Wait, no. I think that might be a repair patch, actually. No, fuck that. I'm not going to risk my life for that. Back down we go. We do lots of back and forth in this game. And that is not a complaint. It, it's good for this area, honestly. Because, layout-wise, this is much less complex than the previous area we did today. But that area had, you know, that area had multiple floors and a, a dumb waiter and... Let me out! Fuck! And a bunch of stuff. God damn it. That, that was dumb. I'll use a, I'll use a repair spray, just because we got so many of them. We need, we need to keep the stack not full so we can pick up more. Um... Yeah, that had it. That you know had so many multiple floors and a bunch of shit going on. This is less complex, uh, and going through it so much really helps with uh, learning the layout. Very useful, right? Serpent ring, go away. Is that everything? We, no, we want more revolver ammo too. Don't go out unarmed. That would be bad. Reload, and away you go again. And we'll save. It's efficient play. It's not speedy. It's not 
It's not elegant. It's effective, is what it is. Right, so... Back the way we just went. We can go clear out that whole area. Fuck off you. Longo. Bozoi looking ass. I, I could not be patient for him. Even though I just said I was being patient. Couldn't hesitate. Calling him a, a Bozoi looking ass. Which are a good breed of dog, by the way. I like them. They're Longos. They're absolute Longos. Okay, I'm hoping these guys in here don't immediately respawn. But it was, ma it was mo mainly the screaming Calibri that was causing me issue. Okay, so there's a door here, presumably a door on the left as well. Hey, that ends are good. Don't need a spray right now. Let's just see what we've got. Alina's Diary 4. How long has it been that I'm down here? How did I get here? Where is this place and why am I here? My memory feels so blurry, as if I had always been here, forever. Even my hair is slowly turning white. Oh, she was the white-haired lady that everyone's seeing. Hmm. I remember my name and I remember my life, but I also remember a different name and a different life. It feels like the line between her and me is blurring the longer I stay here. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, uh, so grenade ammo there. What is this? In oh, incense for the offering. Nice. We've got inventory slots. I'm not desperate for grenades, but I'll take repair spray. And there's flesh in the walls. There's flesh in the walls. And that's blocked. Alright, this is a dead end then. I'll take the nades. Give me the nades. Probably be good for a boss at some point. But okay. I don't know if the offering wants something other than the incense. Now our inventory's full. Even though I've got another room to check out. Frig. Well, we'll have a look at what's in there, I suppose. Oh, This is a puzzle room. This is like a... A Silent Hill-esque reflection of uh, that room that required the key cards before. I knew I was recognizing things here and there. Is the layout the same even? But yeah, this one's the plates. So... So we're gonna... Okay, we need that plate. Like, these are these two plates we have. One of these, I think, is the plate of balance. So I can't... I can't permanently sacrifice either of the plates. <gasps> Wait! No, we don't need to permanently sacrifice the plates. That's what the doll's for. That's why the doll has the hexagonal base and why it's so heavy. So it can weigh down the scales. We weigh down the scales with the doll and we get the the plate of balance. I get you. Right, 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 right. Yeah, we have, we've seen that before. Hmm. Oh, that was a one-way. Where does this go to? Oh, back here. God. Been a minute. Been a minute. Yeah, this is the, the flash pit room. Okay. There's a save, like, right here. Oh, fuck. I wish I'd gone this way first. <laughs> and then I wouldn't have to... It, w it wouldn't be such a pain to get around. But okay, 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 okay. So, a few things we can do. Put all that away. I guess we can put... Uh, go use the incense as well. Because that's around this way. We'll do that first. Fuck off, you lot. I'm trying to do puzzles. You're being impolite. Fuck off. Yeah, I'm getting more and more daring, but it, it, it's daring that comes with um, with experience. Okay, this is here again. Wait. Yeah, that puts us here. No, I don't want to be there. Uh, yeah, that's why there's no map, because this place makes no fucking sense. I'm trying to find the way in. Yeah, here's the way in. And then this has the place that I think wanted the incense. They definitely didn't want the spelling salts, because those are gone now. Let's have a look at this note again offerings and in the darkness the dead shall be offered a light and holy spices they may find a way out of this cursed place a light and holy spices well we have spices thin long bamboo stick covered in a layer of aromatic paste for use in religious rituals glowing ember at the tip emits a fragrant smoke use incense yes used ah oi we got a plate let's go plate of love I love the plate of love okay sick Right, right, right. We are absolutely schmoving with the plates now. Now we finally know what they're for. Okay, where do we go from here? From here we could get to downstairs. Or... Yeah, I guess I should... I'll go down this way. Because then I can get to my box quickly. 
Oh, they're like, no, I, well, I guess. I mean, they're both kind of equidistant because this place is so weird. Let's go to the other place because that is actually near where we're going with the plates. But no, 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 no. No, I want to go down here because I want to trade my doll for the, the other plate. That's what I want to do. Right, 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 right. We don't have all the plates yet. Could you fuck off? Thank you. I'm glad they're so polite. Oh, fuck off, will you? I take that back. I'm saying something nice about you. Okay, put the repair spray away. Put the plate of love away. Get the doll out. And then we gotta deal with the rings, too. That'll probably get us a plate. Maybe we've got all the rings we need. Right now, actually. We should go find that room again. Yeah, yeah, past all you. You were in good spots, so I can just bypass you. Okay, take the plate of balance. Use the doll. Nice! Yes, use the combined doll. Look at it, it's so cute. It's got a cute little robot fit. No, I don't want to take the doll. Maybe we'll need it again at some point, but right now I need my plates, so probably not. Coming through. Right, so I need to find that other plate. Uh, not here. Uh, it's at, it, yeah, it's at the other save room. Well, we had in there anyway. So, I guess I'll, I'll ditch my plate of balance. I'll take all the rings. And we'll see if we can use those now. Right, we gotta get to the other save. Hello, Joke Sider. Bog, it's living weapon actress. It is. Well, living is questionable. Definitely humanoid. It depends on you. Uh, what what qualifies as life for you? Do I qualify as life? Because I'm just a robot. I don't know. I mean, I, I would qualify myself as life, but that's me. Okay, so this... Yeah, this will leave back, uh, lead back to the other save room. And then we go north from there... To get our... Uh, or to hand in our rings. Living's questionable, but dying, for, dying inside is for sure. Damn. You fucking got me there. You're absolutely right, yeah. I mean, I'd say I'm dying inside generally, but right now, absolutely not. I'm having the time of my life. This game's fantastic. And I've been having a good time recently anyway, because I've been, um, you may not know, actually. It's, I, well, you just may not know. I've been digging out all my old consoles and getting them working again and getting them ready to stream off of, which I'm very excited about. I just need uh, one more thing to arrive and then... Well, then the PS3 will be ready. Kind of gives you MGS vibes. A little bit, a little bit. With the... I, I get what you mean with, like, the gun stance and the laser sight. But it's it's mostly, like, RE and Silent Hill. But it's great. Uh, in terms of the puzzles and stuff. You'll see in a sec. I'm, we're about to do a fucking Silent Hill-ass puzzle. Also, look at this place. It's rusty and full of flesh. Right, this is the puzzle I want to do. Because I assume it will give me a plate. And the plates I need for another, uh, I need for another puzzle. So, the Empress's hand. On the first day, she was crowned. Did she need a crown? On the longest day, nothing was done. Oh, on the longest day. Oh wait. Oh, that it refers to the fingers. Why does the protag pack so much? Protag pack and so, so much cake. Well, she's a robot too. Like most of the characters in this are um, are robots. We're out in space somewhere on a distant like mining base or something. Um, but yeah, you know, it's, the, the K cavern robots, it's a common thing. But no, I entirely understand. The first day she was crowned, the first finger, on the longest, longest, nothing was done. The longest finger, no ring. On the next day she was wed, wedding ring. On the last day, the last finger, she took a life. Okay, I understand. I kind of understand. Okay. So, so on the first day she was wed, the wedding ring. On the longest day, nothing was done. Then it's just these other two rings figuring out what they represent. There's some something in death. What was the other thing? But yeah, this game's fantastic. It's got like the extremely PS1 vibe, but with a bunch of really good environmental 3D stuff. It's great. It looks absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, first day she was... No, first day she was crowned, not the wedding ring. Shit. Uh, shit. No, no, no. So on the third day she was wed. 
On the last day she took a life. Okay, okay, okay. No, no, I got that wrong. I got that wrong. Yeah, take that. On the third day, she was wed. On the first day, she was crowned. That'll be the... Oh, the regent's ring. Yeah, because a regent is like a, a king. And, you know, the story that I mentioned, the This Too Shall Pass story, is about a king. So that's, that's, yeah, that's the right ring. And then the serpent's ring, snake biting its own tail, is, I guess, to represent death? There you go. Yeah, gamer! Let's go. How do you even read it? Hold on. I'll pick up the plate of knowledge, and then I'll explain. Because, like, all, basically all the text you read in this game is translated. Um, most of it is originally in German. But this, I think, was originally in, uh, like, in Japanese or some other Asian language. I don't know. But, like, it's, it, okay, it's red from right to left, top to bottom. So, the thing on, it's, on the right, it says Empress. You see that? And then you read the line, you read the vertical lines right to left. So, on the first day she was crowned, on the longest day, uh, on the longest day nothing was done, on the next day she was wed, and on the last day she took her life. That's how you read it. See? It's cool puzzles, right? I love the puzzles in this game. They've all been fantastic. Right, so we got the plate of knowledge. Okay, okay, okay. So let's get back to here. And then, I don't know, uh, we might have all the plates? I'm not sure. I think we need more. It is really cool. There's a bunch of stuff. Like, there's um, there's a whole mechanic with this. the No, with this, the radio receiver. And there are a bunch of puzzles where you have to tune to certain frequencies. And you sometimes get signals or solutions or anything. It's really cool. Definitely not a good idea to play this game while drunk. Oh no, you need your decision make not not just for pu puzzle solving. You need your decision making and rational thinking skills to be at their absolute highest while playing this. Because you know it's all about you know if I could panic and shoot these guys, but oh god, fuck, <laughs> that was stupid. Um, but you know I'd rather save the ammo. That's the smart thing to do. It's all about managing your resources. Yeah, the enemy- well, the enemies are packing because they're the same as me. They are also robots, but they've been- they've been infected by something. They've apparently got biological components, and those have, like, grown and mutated out of control. The enemy's always packing. Yeah, I- I pointed that out earlier, actually, that- that the- that the enemies have got kind of wide hips. But that's fine. Okay, so how many plates have we got? The, the door isn't far from here. I don't th I don't think this is enough plates. Put the flashlight away. We need to bring all the plates. I need even more space. Okay, put the repair spray away. Okay, these are all my plates. First Silent Hill nurse, and now this. Well, I, I, I don't know if there's any specific reason for it in this game. In Silent Hill 2, there's a very good reason for the nurses to be sexy. Not in any other game, though. Also, no other Silent Hill should have Pyramid Head in it. Because that doesn't make sense. Right, come on. Game doesn't even support one-handed playing. I mean, it can. I'm playing with one hand right now. I do need to... Oh, God. I need to, I need to use my mouse to access, you know, doors and ladders and stuff. But moving and sprinting like this is just one-handed. So, I mean, you could for a while. Depends how long you need, I suppose. Uh, oh, this we haven't opened yet. Oh, shit. Nice. Uh... I don't have my camera with me. Shit. This probably has a plate behind it, though. Ah, oh, fuck. Right, yeah, I just haven't been back in here for ages. I'm not doing any... I'm, I'm, I'm just... I was, I was just doing nothing. My hand was just sitting on the on the mouse, not doing anything. See, look. That's locked. Yeah, this is the way that was... Uh, way back. Ah! Okay, here we go. So this is where the plates go. Yeah, we have the plate of eternity... We have the plate of knowledge. We have the plate of flesh. We have the plate of love. I don't think we have this one. No, we do. That's the plate of balance. Oh, wait, just missing one. And it'll be behind that other door. Okay, fantastic. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Is that a flesh wall? Yeah, there's. Well, okay. This is a way you can jump down. It leads to a place I've already been. But there was a boss fight down there before. We had to jump down it. There's, there's just. There's, there is flesh. That's all I can really say on the matter. There's flesh. For some reason. We've gone very deep inside a planet. And now there's flesh. 
Right, I need my... I'll bring my repair sprays as well. Uh, but I need my photo module. This thing's cool. Let me show you how this works. Um, it's a robot eye. An old model. And you can equip it and use it to take pictures for puzzles. Now look at these Look at these images I took earlier of all the, the keypad solutions. Isn't this neat? Is this game more horror or psychological horror? Uh, definitely both. Like, there's some Eldritch shit going on. None of this may be real. I'm not sure. Like, they opened immediately by having me select a copy of um, uh, of the King in Yellow. If you know the King in Yellow, you know the kind of thing we're dealing with. But yeah, there's plenty of both. Like, you've got to deal with actually horrific things, which are scary in the moment. But also the entire situation is terrifying. But yeah, um, the way this works. To get those codes, I had to go to the room pictured there and go through all the frequencies on the radio and then while the radio was playing them the microphone would pick it up and then the keypad would show me all the uh, the symbols matching with their keypad solutions and that's how you find out all the all the keypad codes for this area it's sick and i love having the camera it's such a cool idea right back we go was this way right and then it's up and to the left to actually do stuff with it Okay, so this is the uh, the square, whatever you would want to call it. So let's look back through our codes. That's the, we still haven't used the Lemniscate for anything. We haven't seen the Lemniscate. Maybe that's through the door. Okay, so it's this one, I think. Uh, so another... An they've, they've basically all been Conway's Game of Life things. There you go. The game is absolutely sick. I don't like this room. This is frightening. Oh! Oh, God, there's fucking invisible barbed wire in it. I don't have my flashlight, because I'm a dipshit. God damn it. Ugh. Game about the robot with some Eldritch horror elements to it? Yeah, like, well, a game all about robots. There's robots all over the place. There's, like, other robot characters. Um, earlier, we were reading, like, profiles on, on all the different kinds of robots, because there's, like, several different kinds of... Uh, several models of the robots... Uh, all that serve different purposes and they're apparently all all the robots are their minds are built from the same imprint of an actual person's mind so they like occasionally dream of the lives of the person that their mind is based on and stuff like that it's like that there's some horror in that too in how horrific the robots themselves are even before any of this shit happens anyway put the photo module away Get my flashlight back. But yeah, I need to I need to read King in Yellow at some point. That's one one Lovecrafty thing that I don't really know that much about and should, because it's apparently really good. It's interesting at least, from what I know of it. Okay, I don't think we want to bring anything else. Uh, my health is yellow. Wish I hadn't run into that barbed wire. But yeah, apparently you can't see mono wire unless you're shining a flashlight on it. Okay, okay. You're gonna make things difficult, are you? That's fine. Well, probably... Yeah, it's almost been four hours, so we'll probably, like, make it to the next... Like, clear this area. And then make it to the next bit, probably. And then we can start next time with a fresh light. See? You can't see the mono wire without the flashlight. Fucking mono wire. We were reading a, a PSA note about mono wire earlier. Oh, God. Mono wire wants to kill your entire family. Oh, this is a bad situation. Yikes. Oh, getting fucking dodged and weaved, idiot. Okay, we're off. Off to the races, baby. Plate. Plate of sacrifice. Yeah, there is some sacrificing going on here. Give me this. Yeah. I don't really have the ammo for this. So I'm gonna maybe just have to take some hits. Oh, I'm gonna have to take some hits. Uh, use that. I'm in a bad way. I'm in a bad way. I think we can get out, though. Because they're all grouped together now. This is not how I wanted this to go. Maybe I should carry like carry more ammo with me for situations like... It feels like you're not... Like, it, it's the rune or the, the plate of sacrifice. I feel like you're intended to lose health there. Hence why it's the, the sacrifice one. I did do a bit of juking. I, I 
consider myself to be good at jukes. But, I, I, yeah. I think you're intended to lose health there. Uh, let's use another regular repair spray, because we are really low. That's like some of the lowest we've been without dying, anyway. Okay, put it away. Okay, so we got our last, uh, last plate. Okay. Uh, let me refill my ammo. <laughs> We've got a shitload of pistol ammo, if we ever, ever end up switching back to that. Ammo situation is good. Do we have any revolver ammo? Yeah, we do. We're running a bit low. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold on to it, just for a bit. Let's save, as well. I don't want to have to go through the, the path of sacrifice again. Okay, 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 okay. So now it's up to the left we need to go. Oh, I have the flashlight on. Whoops. Yeah, they get aggroed by the flashlight. I need to remember to turn that off. Oh, not that way. Uh, oh, I'll take that bandage. Why not? Thank you. It was this door, right? Yes. So we're just missing the one plate, and it should let us in. Let's fucking go. And the, uh, I, I mentioned before that this is like a a Silent Hill hellscape copy of a room we've already been in, where we had to use a bunch of key cards on a door like this. Oh, this is where we started in the prologue. This is the flesh hole we went down into, and then the King of Yellow was in there. Except it was a hole we crawled in. Oh fuck. Oh no. Yeah, we saw this on the surface. The f the what? The flesh hole. Oh, Adler's still alive. God damn. Yeah, it's just a hole of flesh. Cause there's flesh. It's impossible to move on. I've been here so many times, but I have never returned. The commander never spoke about what she saw out there. I'm sure whatever it was, it was what made her fall sick. Something about her changed when she returned. She was no longer our beloved leader, Falk. What waits beyond the threshold? So this is what drove her mad? It doesn't matter. Oh, German. Oh shit. We might be, we might be like fairly late game. Is this... Let's see what happens. I don't know what that says. Beyond the gate. Emptiness. So we've passed through this gate. And now we're here. In the blood zone. In fucking rebuild of Evangelion zone. Hmm. Hey, I used that art for a thumbnail. Who are you? We haven't found the lady we're looking for yet. Maybe she's through here. Oh god. Hmm. Okay. Come closer. I I don't understand. Oh no. Uh oh. So what? What? Have kind of angst. Are those our bodies or are they just other robots of our type? What the fuck is this ship? Is this the ship we came in on? That makes sense. Cause that was that was the ship we started in. Lena Sayo. What? What happened to her? Yeah, we saw she's been like mer merging. And there's like, there's all sorts of shit for you, Elster. Huh? For us. Okay. Ariane Young. Hmm. I'm trying to follow. There's the island. We've been on the island in like that weird flashback before. Be not afraid! Oh, no. oh god! That is a straight up angel. That's what angels say. It had a halo. Is that a black hole? Oh god. Ah! That's the logo of the game. Hmm? So we're like in the hellscape version of the ship we came in from, maybe? I don't know. That was in a flashback, and I'm not sure where the flashbacks stand. It's confusing. 
flashback memory, whatever it is. You gotta buy this game now. It's on Game Pass. If you've got Game Pass, you've got this game. But do buy it, even if you don't have Game Pass. Give these developers money. This game's a masterpiece. Wake up. Hmm. And there's been mention of dreams. Can't read that. Oh! Did the fucking the ghost in the shell? I I I understood that reference. Good one. I assume it, it's supposed to be that. You know the arms you busting your fucking arms trying to open something up. Ghost in the shell thing. Wake up. Hmm. Oh no! She's dead! Was it all for nothing? That's the game! That's the entire game! We beat it! What? What happened? <laughs> I don't know what happened. This game's fantastic, but I don't know what happened. <laughs> um, okay. I, 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 I also thought maybe multiple endings, because Silent Hill, but I don't think so. I, I don't see where there could have been a different ending. Like, well, maybe there is, but I highly don't think so. I'm trying to understand. Like, there's the, the most straightforward way of approaching the events of the story. But I don't think that's enough. Especially since they want to do the whole King in Yellow thing. I need to read up in the King in Yellow, I guess, to understand this. Well, yes, multiple endings? Do you look it up? Oh shit. Hmm. Signalis. Okay. Well, now, it, now I can do my research. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, wait. Wait, there is more shit. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <gasps> Before going through the Pentagon door, ensure you've completed the wooden doll. The door at the bottom left will be there you can find the plate of balance. Use the completed wood doll on the scale so you don't get locked in. With all three rings, you can proceed through the asterisk door from the classroom safe room. Yes. Uh, keep going to reach Stuart. Yeah, stack chance. Penrose 512. There's more walkthrough past where I got to. Is there? Y yes. Yes, there is. There's more. There's more game. There's more game. How do we how do we access this? Wait a minute. I need to look up the endings and not just a walk through. Wait a minute. The f there are four endings? Oh Jesus. Wait a minute. Oh god. Oh no. Much like Silent Hill 2, these final scenes are not determined by explicit decisions you make, but by how you'd behave, such as how much damage you take or the length of time spent in areas. Oh, this is not a thing we can get. Th these are not endings we can get quickly. Oh, shit. For those who have witnessed credits but haven't seen all the endings, I recommend watching them here before proceeding. Okay, I'm not going to do this, at least not right now. Uh, oh, press any key. Oh, like the eye eyes are still blanked out. Her eyes, her eyes dead. It's not following me anymore. Oh god. Soul five. Oh god. Uh, let us let's just click on begin and see what happens. I think this will just maybe start a new game. But this, I mean, I I I kind of don't want to show you all the content in the game, right? Because you should buy this game and play it. Because it's really good. And get your own ending. Yeah, this is where we started, but is this the way things were? Were things this color? Or am I just insane? I remember things being darker than this. But I might be wrong. Hmm. Hmm. I'm not sure. Let's have a look around. 
We've never been here before. Hold the fucking phone. Doodle. Ca Calibri. Because it's a cauliflower. Good. Okay, some shit's going on. Operation Penrose. That's the ship we came in on. Operation Penrose. Pride of the Asian Nation. Space vessel type Penrose. The People's Navy. Huh, huh. Stern observation window. Nothing to see but stars. We're not- we're not landed. We're in space. Okay, shit's happening. Shit's happening. We're not done yet. Wait. Wait a minute. Hold the phone. Before the end, you saw all the bodies that look like you too. Well, yeah, but there are, like, in- in canon, like, outside of, like, weird eldritch time bullshit, there are other me's. Because, like, the, there's just a shitload of different copy-and-pasted uh, robot bodies. And, like, we saw before, like, we saw an elevator shaft just packed full of the same type of corpse. And that was where I first had this kind of suspicion. But, yeah, I think, I think there's some, there's some shit going on. There's some multiple, multiple attempts, multiple timelines, multiple selves, something. Maybe this one's just a new you? It might be, yeah. But yeah, a lot of, like, some of those rooms we couldn't inspect before. We, we've been in here before. <gasps> oh, the other person's here. Yeah, the Gestalt pilot, they weren't here before. Maybe the old me is still there. You may well be right. Sealed envelope among the documents. It says classified replicate information for Gestalt officer eyes only. Oh, they're sending messages about me. It's unopened. I'm not allowed to open this envelope. Probably contains some classified information about me. Open it anyway? <gasps> oh! Uh. Uh. Yeah. I'm gonna open it anyway. <laughs> I'm gonna misbehave. Oh no. Replica known issues. Penrose program. Oh fuck. Is it? Is it all just that I? This particular model is insane. Previous experience with this replica model, replica model has given us insight into... Yeah, we've seen that. Elster units were chosen for the Penrose program for their adaptability and reliability under long-term isolation conditions. Stoic and reserved, Elster units have a relatively stable neural pattern. It is best for you to leave it alone and interact with the Elster unit as little as possible. Elster's neural pattern was a soldier of Vanettan origin, so their needs are basic. Avoid talking to the Elster unit about the war. Don't mention the war. Penrose vessels are fitted with a specialized calibration pod, which may help with persona stabilization. To avoid resurf resurfacing of gestalt memories, do not show or give the Elster unit photographs, especially of soldiers during the war. We, from the very start, had a photograph of a soldier, didn't we? Oh, shit. Is that what caused half this shit? You just gave me a photo you shouldn't have? Do not show the, the Elster unit movies or let it listen to music. Do not try to befriend the Elster unit. That's fucked up. I'm glad I read that. Chronometer adjustment. Technical service record. Scout officer Jan Gariani. Officer's note. I've adjusted the ship's internal clock to run slightly slower. By my calculations, each cycle should be uh, exactly 6.13% longer, simulating what I believe is the length of a day on Veneta. I wonder if Elster will notice the difference. Judging from her accent, I'm sure she's Venetan. She pronounces ship just like Isa and Ari, Ari used to. It's very cute. So, so yeah. Ariani knew Isa, I guess? Isa? However you pronounce it? It's very cute. Hearing her speak makes me dream of the ocean. Wonder if I'll ever get to visit something like it. Maybe on a distant world? Hmm. What's going on, though, game? <laughs> I'm getting, in, I'm getting Im immersed in the new present, but there's shit going on. Emergency procedures. <clears throat> Based on data from previous long-range survey missions, salvaging the replica technician for sustenance is not recommended. Don't eat the robot flesh, even in extreme circumstances. Replica biocomponents can cause various health problems when ingested. It may look and taste like ordinary flesh, but bioengineered tissue may cause more harm than good when eaten in an emergency situation. Oxidant may look like blood, but is indigestible to gestalts. Should also be considered that Pioneer replicas statistically have an 860% greater survivability than Gestalt Pioneer officers. 
For the sake of a successful mission, keeping the re replica operational rather than prolonging your own suffering may be preferable. I wonder what the pronunciation is. Yeah, yeah, I do wonder about her accent. Because I don't know. Like, the only languages we've seen that, st that exist in this universe are, like, German and Japanese. So I don't know. Or some Asian language, I don't know. Penrose Briefing, Phase 2. By our, we, uh, by our calculations, 1,500 cycles of mission time will have passed when you received this message. Congratulations, comrade. By now you should have become fully acclimatized to your new life on board your ship. As you approach the Oort Cloud, your search for new worlds will begin. Right, I think we did hear something about our mission before, that we were, you know, going out to find new planets, or planets to chill out on, or something, for resources or something. Utilizing the long-range sensors, you will scout for valuable resources, habitable worlds, or signs of alien life. Remember to rely on your replica to assist you in maintaining your vessel. We all wish you great success in your mission. You just sent a, you sent a lady and a robot out of the solar system and expected that to go well. Oh, no. Can't do anything there. Can go in here. There's Japanese, Korean, and Chinese characters. Oh, okay. Good to know. Ooh, pipes. Glad you saw the stream. Well, thank you. I'm glad you came by, and I'm glad you like it. The reactor's coolant injection system. No leaks detected. Good. No coolant leaks. It makes me feel like there's going to be a leak at some point. But we we hardly saw, like, half of these rooms at the start of the game. And none of these notes. Scheduled maintenance checklist. Inspect LST replica calibration and storage unit. That's where I woke up. Inspect mainframe access terminal in the mess hall. Inspect flight controls. Not done! Inspect cool injection pipes. Inspect emergency cryogenic hibernation unit. And report to Gestalt scout officer. I guess these are things we need to do. We need to go find the flight deck. Finish my maintenance check round before I go see Ariane. Okay, so the... The flight deck should be at the front, right? Let's go find that. Oh, and thank you for the coolant. There's no water jet piss, but now we can we can see that my coolant system also has no leaks. One second. Okay, at the very start, we we picked up a, a picture from on here. Ship's control panel. All systems nominal. All right, that's good. Space. <laughs> the final frontier. All right, so I assume that's checked off that thing on the on the list now. For coolant cold or room temperature, I guess. Not ex not room temperature. A little bit cooler than room temperature, I suppose. Somewhere around there. Ariani's notes. Running out of ochre paint. Elster laughed when I told her. Now I have to mix it myself. So you've been socializing with the Elster unit, have you? And the to begin with, the the note that we read, the you know telling her not to interact with us, not to give us photos from uh, from the war, was unopened. We opened it. She never read it, even though we're you know who knows how long into our mission now. Still haven't read a whole bunch of these manuals. I feel like they gave me enough to read for the rest of my life. Most of them are boring technical manuals anyway. Could have given us more films to watch instead. Half of them are war films, which Elster doesn't like. It said not to wa let me watch films. Are definitely not war films. The other half are kitschy propaganda dramas. If you prefer the cold drink, you prefer the cold from the fridge or cold from the ice? Uh, I guess cold from the ice. Like, cold from ice is nicer. Oh, God. Am I... Uh, is, is Elster just completely fucking unstable because she disregarded... Alina disregarded all the guidelines? Oh, no. Right, where's the checklist again? What else do I need to do? Inspect emergency cryogenic hibernation unit. We've been there. I think it's in the back. And then we can uh, report to Alina. Okay, inspect. Emergency cryogenic hibernation unit. In case of a medical emergency that cannot be treated on board, Gestalt crew members can be put in hibernation here. All systems nominal. Hope we never need to use this. Hmm. I assume... Maybe there are multiple Penrose missions? I'm not sure. <gasps> but she's got white hair. She's got white hair! Hmm. I don't trust this. I don't know if any of this is real. Elster, you're up! 
far too friendly. Whoa, far too friendly. Whoa, what are we doing? Space robot lesbians, what are we doing? I missed you. I missed you too. Oh no. Oh no. What's happening? Uh, it's a 3,000 cycle anniversary. So what, what is that? 3,000 days? We're getting the updated mission parameters later, so I thought it'd be nice to celebrate. Wait, let me put on some music. You're not supposed to let me listen to music! Oh no. Everything's wrong. Hmm. I don't trust this. Oh god. But like this, this isn't her, right? Because we had two different photos of the person we were looking for. One of them was with the brown hair and one of them was with the white hair, like this. Something's up. Some, something has happened. I don't know what. I don't fully understand it. Something's really wrong, though. <laughs> like, for the entirety of the game up till now, how did we even end up where we were? Why were we there? If the Penrose mission was supposed to be out of the system, discovering new planets and stuff, why were we in the system? Oh no. What do the numbers mean? Oh no. We're back! We're back, baby. Okay. Back to where we were. Okay. Do you remember our promise? No, I'm very confused. Oh, we actually on the surface now? We're on the surface for real. So we were on the surface for real then. Hmm. It's like the, the Falk unit as well was saying similar stuff about feeling like she's partially turned into the, the white-haired girl. Who is she? I imagine it's got something to do with, like, the bio-communication thing that some of the units have got going on. Like, it, it can do mental encroachment. Lost another tooth. There's so much blood. My hands were shaking. Why is my hair falling out? That's the radiation. I can't sleep. I just want to sleep. Please just let me sleep. Okay, so I, I assume... Because, like, whenever we looked in the menu, and went, like, upper menu... We could see our, our graph, like our chart. I assume that has something to do with what ending we get. If our ending is based on, like, our behavior over the course of the game. I bet it's like that. Yeah, I'm not going to get all the endings on stream. Oh, no. Did... Is whatever... The, oh, God. Does the flesh thing want to leave? Is that why it boarded the ship? Uh... Is that another, another of the same me unit? I made a promise. My ribs are exposed. Uh, I'll do anything. New chest plate. Oh fuck. Oh, we got the armor we heard about before. I asked earlier if we were gonna. I, I, I was wondering if we were gonna end up like this. We did. Replica. Compartmentalizing trauma? Yeah, you would have to. There's a huge mass of flesh in the cryopod. So is this not our Penrose? Maybe there were multiple Penroses. You can't you can't see what's written here, because before that had the, the number. If you can go find the ship's computer, maybe. Taking what I needed. Got an upgrade. But that that would be this ship's version of me, right? This is a powerful... Everything that's been happening for a good while now has been very powerful. I'm very impressed. Oh, God. Drop down. Can't stop now. Keep going? Yes. <laughs> Not even commenting on the, the nature of the flash pit anymore. I just have to go. We're counting down again. Want to watch more, but I also want to experience it yourself. You should experience it yourself. So we're on the same beach again. I assume it's the same beach. But it okay, so this must be the island from the picture then. There's some red over there. I'm looking over here. There's that thing I couldn't get to before. 
the pages aren't on the ground anymore. But yeah, definitely buy this game and play it. And, you know, avoid spoilers if you can, even if that means not watching this. It feels very eerie. It is very eerie. These um, first-person segments are really good. No, you got it right first time, I think. I'm fairly sure. Yeah, you got it, you got it, you got it. First time. But yeah, like we've... When we were reading some diary before, it was saying something about... About the island as well. Thinking about the island. It was like the, it was the, the first Calibri enemy that we fought. It was something about it go about how it went insane has something to do with the island, maybe. The thoughts of the island or something. And in these last couple of sequences, we've seen like flashes, multiple images of the island. I don't know what it represents though. Brain's been chewing on this game for a month. I can see how you would. Absolutely I could. Oh god, there's notes I've missed. But I love this kind of thing. Something where it just makes you think for a good long while. Like you say, chewing on it. There's so much to chew on. <laughs> it is absolutely stellar. Those who sing the same song have heard it in their dreams. The Calibris? A dark tone at the edge of hearing. A silent voice whispering to my heart. But yeah, like, the, the Cali we've heard Calibris describe their, like, bio-communication as, like, singing a song. Singing the same song, something like that. So the Calibris have heard it in their dreams. A dark tone at the edge of hearing, a silent voice whispering to my heart. Come join us. Together we will be eternal. There is no escape. We will be one. But I fear the dark sea that will swallow me. Hmm. So are we going... Is it? Is it full um, make us whole, Isaac? Is it something that want? Well, the, the markers were a whole different thing. But is it a being that just wants to commune with other beings? Something old, far older than humanity, slum that sleeps deep below the ground. Those of us who can hear its call in the night, an invitation. An ocean of memories where I ends and we begin. Exactly, like we heard with Falk. Falk had, like, her mind... Okay, right. Because the Calibris are, are, like, have better biocommunication capabilities. They just went fucking insane. But the Falks have, like, a worse biocommunicator. So the Falk, the commander was encroached upon, but not entirely. So she ended up being like half between herself and the white haired girl. And that's why she, I don't know, she like put herself to sleep or something, but she was badly affected by it, but not as much compared to the Calibris. That makes sense. So things are making sense. There's information to glean. That's what I like. I like horror that is, you know, psychological and strange and frightening, but there is information there. You can like, claw away at the at the dirt and come away with something and try and put the pieces together. Great holes secretly are digged where earth's pores ought to suffice and things have learnt to walk that ought to crawl. We should never have left the primordial soup. Only through death can I escape the call of the one who rules above all life. So yeah, they, they dug up an old one. I understand that. That makes sense. You know, Blood Bloodborne is an Eldritch story, and it started on a beach much like this. Oh, that's a that's a a, a River Styx ass boat. Oh, good, a bunch of blood. Kill me, 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 kill me. Wow, how why do they how do they have a transcript of my thoughts while I was fighting Rodan in Bayo 2? Hmm. Okay. Anything past the boat? I get the feeling they want me to interact with the boat. But maybe not. There might be stuff over here. I need to explore. Oh, these are bones. Oh, there's an invisible wall here. But there's skulls everywhere. Oh, no. That's bad. Yeah, can't go further than that. To the boat, then. Someone's not enjoying the flesh bath. Yeah, no, no. You know, uh, you know, having your mind joined with an eldritch being, so much so that your own personality gets overwritten... That's the kind of thing that will drive you insane. Oh no. Stars falling from the sky. Capital 3. Gestalt fall. Oh no. Oh. 
Oh! Okay, so we've gone back under again. This is where we started after the first, like, sequence in the base. I assume we're fairly late in now. We could... We might, we might just finish this. Yeah, this is where we started. Yeah, welcome to S23 Sipinski. You've been selected or have elected to be relocated by Aeon to S23 Sipinski. At our prestigious blank vocational school facility. And yeah, there was the whole thing at the start, like towards the start, where the whole first floor's name and the, the, the entire word is just censored. We never really figured out what that was. You will learn new skills to shape your future as a productive citizen of our wonderful nation. Concerned about your family, friends, former colleagues? <laughs> Nothing. Screw you. Yeah, that's just... Door is blocked by a mass of flesh. There's no way through. That's fine. There's just flesh in there. It's all just flesh. So this could... It could all be literal. And this is just, you know, the passage of time. The amount of time it took us to get down there, the flesh has just encompassed everything. Or it could have always been like this. The cameras are still watching me. Yeah, we are just being led in a direction, huh? Hey, a save room! It's been a minute! Like, legit. When the credits rolled earlier, I, I, I was ready to accept that as the end of the game. But there's more. Service request form. It's all blanked out. I security wall safe. Right, yeah, that was the one that was reset to default. I remember. I don't remember what the code was, though. I have my... Uh, yes, I do still have all of my inventory. Good. Right, give me my revolver back. Uh, give me my heels back. Take four. And we'll we'll go we'll take the flashlight and we'll go on with that. And I'll save. It's all anything could happen now. Okay. Legit how much game is left though? Because it's been what, four and a half hours? How much game? How much remains? I need to look at the walkthrough again, just to get a feel for how much game there is. Hold on, hold on. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. There's... Okay. We're, we're, we're close to the end. Let's just go. Let's just do it. Let's do it now. There's a note down here. Yeah, wall safe codes. Come to my attention. Yeah, protect wall safes to be interrogated until the wall's found. Adler. Thanks, Adler. So yeah, how many, like, based on what Adler, Adler was saying before, how many times has he been through this series of events? Has he been through this series of events several times? I can't even tell. I have no idea. Hey, at least we got a map again. That's nice. I don't think we read this before. Together to victory over the Empire. Hmm. Hold on. Hmm. So... The, like, the stars are the good icon. That's our people. But I'm, I'm thinking back. I think the rusted key that we used earlier had the sign that's being destroyed here on it. I'm trying to think if that represents anything. You've been here before. Yeah, I know. I don't remember what the code was. <laughs> uh, I'm going to look up what the code was. Because I, I could, in theory, remember. I just don't... Uh, Hold on. Nope. Just control Fing for safe. So, 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 so. Should look for wall safe, maybe. Yeah, learn about the wall safe. I don't remember. I don't remember what uh, what you had to do or what the the code was. Hold on. I just want to see. Not the sword safe. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Yeah, the radio. Yeah, I know about the radio frequencies. But we want the default. Yeah, the classroom. There you go. Hold on. Yeah. 
204512. I remember, yeah. That's a memorable number. Come on. 204512. Oh, E. Oh, no, not E. Enter. Fuck. 204512. Enter. I made that mistake first time, too. I remember. It was only a week ago. And what have I won? A classroom key. Nice. This makes me want to play Resident Evil and Silent Hill, but I don't have any uh, Resident Evils at hand. Okay. Maybe we want to start using the big guns now. Because I've been, I've been preserving ammo for a lot of this game. It, it might be time. I don't know. I'll put the flashlight away, so we don't urgently need it. As far as I know, anyway. But... Hmm. Let's bring the flare gun. Can we, can we like, get the... Can we unload? No, shit. Can we unload the flare gun? And put the grenade rounds in? Where are my grenade rounds? There they are. Reload. It's, al it's already loaded. Well, I guess it's going to be stuck loaded, then. Uh... Okay, let's go with this. If I find something that warrants a grenade, I will use a grenade. That's blocked. I don't think we can sneak past this thing. But maybe, let's try it. Nope. Okay. It's time. This has got a flare in it, not a grenade, but... We can... Reload it. Need signal flare shells? Be fired from a flare gun, though. Do I have to combine? Ah, that turns it into a HE flare gun. I see. Right, right, right. I should have brought more ammo. Right, get kicked. Okay. Yeah, I should bring more revolver ammo if I'm actually going to actively use it a bit more. Although I don't have that much more left. Hmm... Yeah, we got two more shots. Guess we'll go with that and see if we need to clear out inventory space. Oh god, it's just fucking flies every- and now I need the flashlight. God damn it. Ah, go back. All that planning was for naught. Man. I wonder if we have, like, better damage resistance now that we have the, the body armor as well. That's a question. Uh, hmm. It, it's a very limited inventory. Very limited. I'm going to put the repair spray away. Don't need it. I've never used a single one. Right, give me my flashlight. And equip me my flashlight, please, before I forget. There we go. Yeah, I've never once used any of those, those first aid pluses. Never once. I'll probably use them during a boss fight. If another one comes up, I assume one will. Guess I didn't really need the flashlight for that, but we'll probably still need it here. There's an enemy. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. Okay, well, oh, they just died. Huh. Don't even need to kick them. But I am running low on, on revolver ammo. Hmm. Oh! Okay. This is just a combat gauntlet. I need the... Uh, well, I've got my grenade shells, but... Kind of... Mm, I mean, I don't have much better to use on them, do I? Let's just try it. Let's just try the, f the grenade round. See how it goes. God damn! God motherfucking damn! <laughs> okay, this thing fucks. Fuck you! I think I might have damaged myself with that. It's fine if I did. Yeah, this is seeming a bit like a combat gauntlet. Let's keep going. Use classroom key. That seems like a boss hole. Mm, no, I'm going back. I need more stuff. No, 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 no. The revolver ain't gonna cut it. I don't think. I need the rifle. I've been saving that thing. I mean, we used it. We did use it. 
but I need more. I guess that's why the enemies are just straight up dying rather than going down the way they usually do. It's saying like, hey, use your ammo now. They're not going to get back up. This is the time. Everything you've been waiting for, it's here. Are you ready? So yeah, we're keeping the flare gun. Roll and go. It's only got two shots. Not worth keeping. Uh, take all the repair sprays. Yes. Um, maybe the auto injectors. Let's just see what we want to take weapon wise. We have five shotgun rounds. We can, if we, I, I think that's enough to fully load the shotgun, so we could carry that without any additional ammo. That seems like a good get. Then, obviously we need to keep the grenade shells. We might not need the flashlight. I'm going to put the flashlight away. Um, we could take more flare shells. Oh, no, we need the rifle. We're taking the rifle. Uh, yep, yeah, we've got enough for rifle and some ammo. So let's load this bad boy. Okay. I don't know. Like, I've just got my heavy hitters here. I don't know what I would even want to use first. Uh, let's just save and we'll see how it goes. That, that, that hole feels like final boss territory, though. We're just in scrambled zone now. Welcome to hell. We've been in hell. We've, I mean, we. I feel like we were it, we were in more of a hell-like place before. Now I feel like we're in reality, but hell has seeped through. All right, let's give it a fucking shot. Let's see what happens. We really didn't need the flashlight at all. I'm just dumb. Okay, nothing. Yeah, still no map data, which is interesting. Not that I need it, but just thought I'd have a look. All right, what awaits in the pit? Hole in the ground. Looks like I can drop down safely. Drop down the hole. I think that's where we dropped down originally, the first time we came through here. Is this not going to be a boss fight? Uh-oh. Adler. Oh, no. You've changed. Oh. Oh, it's Falk. You're still obsessing over Falk, are you, Adler? Oh, Adler. Why are you like this? Half past one, you need self control? Oh god. It's like everything was taken apart. Oh god. And put back together by someone who doesn't understand how it works. Oh god. I have become whole again. Oh Jesus, Adler. I wear no mask. He's corrupted. And I hate everything. Yo. Adler's become kind of sick. Yeah. Perhaps this is hell. Maybe. The space intentionally left blank. Poor guy has a simp module. I mean, basically, yeah. And now, rot front. Jesus. It's it's like it it's like this the uh, these cutscenes were directed by Shaft. I love this shit. Okay. Hey, I'm not carrying that pistol. Cutscene. Don't lie to me. Okay. We haven't been here before. Where are we? Apartments. Oh, we're, we're at Rotfront now. I guess. Which is where I think like some of the the flashbacks have been. There's the logo. What's in there? Oh no. What do we do in Silent Hill 4? In the logo. And these are these are the planets. See, Veneta, that's where our original mind is from. Rockfront is where we are now. Katej. Oh, this is a puzzle. Oh, boy. Okay, we'll come back to that when we know what we need to do there. I'm glad we have a map again, though. Okay, that's all fucked. Way is blocked by a gas leak. I need a hand wheel. Okay, I guess we're not doing the boss fight now. I really thought we would be. Based on that lead up, but uh, seemingly no. I want to see if there's a save room around here anywhere. So I can I can, uh, I can put away all my weapons of war. Unlocked from the other side. Okay. Is this a save room? No. W uh, what? Another gun? 8mm ammo? Huh? Oh wait. Oh! Submachine gun. 
Oh, fuck. I didn't think we'd be getting another gun. Okay. Post box. Ooh, we're reading... What is, it? what is this game? Oh, my God. From Aeon Commando. To Calibri. Your requisition request for a Type 84 submachine gun was su uh, successfully processed. Uh -huh. One Type 84 Drache burst fire and a bunch of ammo. The locksmith said it will take at least a period until the replacement key is done. My niece currently has the only other key, but she's still at the hospital right now. Young. Young photo. Photo store keys. Be careful. To the Blackwater Sector C, there are rumors that there is an Imperial spy active in your area. A Protector Special Operations Unit has been dispatched from Aeon Headquarters on Haymat to investigate and should arrive, uh, should arrive within 6 to 12 cycles. Needless to say, should they be successful, this will not reflect well on your record. You know what to do. Hmm. Aeon Commando. As every season, your performance will be subject to review by local command soon. Remember that this review will determine if you will be marked for replacement. Bookstore keys. I understand you need entry to the bookstore for your patrol, but we do not have a spare key for the front door. Have it. You can use the back entrance to get into the store. It's secured with a keypad. The code is the birthday of my daughters. No, they were born on Veneta. Check the last six digits of their PKZ numbers. Kind regards, Ito. Oh, God. How much of this game is left? Do I, do I have enough time for this? Let me look at the walkthrough again. One more time. I need to look at the walkthrough. <laughs> How much of this game is there? Yeah, we've done all that. Done all that. Then. Oh, God. This is a lot of stuff. Like, this is the last area, right? This is the last area. I... But it's almost been five hours. Right, okay. I need to call it here, because it's it's getting way too late. And it's been almost five hours, right? I apologize. Well, we, need, we need to find a fucking save, is what we need to do. L hold on, let's go find a save. And then we'll call it. I really wish I had the fucking energy. Got one, yeah, one more big puzzle quest. All right, yeah, that would take me way too long. So we're gonna need to we're gonna need to come back to this soon, very fucking soon. It might it might not actually be the next stream. Maybe it will be. I might do I might do four streams again next week, or maybe I won't. But either way, I think I want my next two streams to be very soon. Obviously next week, probably, but s still soon, because uh, I want to play Bayonetta three and I want to finish this. Like, those are my priorities. So we, we will finish this very soon. It is a it is among my top priorities. Anyway, yeah. That. And re relo subject, re relocation. No. Damn. Oh, download all. Oh, I can download the emails. <laughs> Sick. Because uh, usually stuff like that just gets saved to your memory automatically. Aha! Here's a save room. Perfect. Okay, okay, okay. Right. Let us just do a save then, and we'll come back to this, because holy shit, there's way more of this game than I thought there would be. Holy shit, that fake ending was insane too, it really could have just ended there. And I think I, st I still would have been satisfied, this still would have been a really good game, if it ended there, and like wasn't entirely clear. But no, there's more. This game has uh, plenty of content, it feels, it feels very full. Yeah, this game's fantastic. We're gonna get back to this soon. I I absolutely promise you. Um, but yes, till then we're gonna we're gonna call it there. We'll be back to this. We'll finish it soon. I might do like a stream just finishing this off, and then maybe we'll do something else. I don't know what the other thing we'll do is though. Maybe something with the old consoles. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, game. Game perfect. Game so fucking good. Holy shit. Like, I had a good impression of it at the end of the last time we played it. But now, oh my god. Um, but yes, we'll call it there. Um, let's go raid. Oh, uh, Spike's playing LEGO Racers 2. I think I have I think I think have a copy of LEGO Racers 1 lying around among all the stuff I, I dug up. But yeah, I'm going to send you over there. Um, thank you very much for joining me in discovering and exploring this game because holy shit it um you know it needs it needs me to be at more energy to finish it off 
to fully appreciate it. I don't want to rush, you know. A game I cared less about, I would maybe rush through. But this, I can't. It deserves my full attention. So we will come back to it very soon and finish this and try to understand it and think more about it. Uh, but yes, I'll send you off now. Um, I'll, I'll get the schedule for next week ready soon. Uh, till next time. I hope you have a very lovely morning, noon, afternoon, evening, night, whatever time of day it is, wherever you are. And, and goodbye. 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 Goodbye.